Okay. <clears throat> I was just about to do something. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, tweet. Wait a minute. I hope that's the right link. Oh, it is. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, wait, I'm on the channel. Actually, I probably shouldn't be in the channel at the beginning, but it doesn't matter. All right, we're here. Three minutes of chess, which will probably be more like, you know, six minutes as it usually is. Destroyed. Oh my god, I bet they're going to resign. Oh wow, they're not. Impressive. This person sucks. This is probably the worst player I've ever burst. Losing their queen in like three moves? Hmm. Perfect. Is that the first time I've ever castled on chess? Maybe oh, on stream, maybe. It's not the first time I've done it in chess. Oh my god. Can't lose on time, that would be terrible. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, look at that. They rage quit. Disconnected. I'm automatically going to win in like seven seconds. Ugh. Easiest game of my life. Okay. Oh my god, now there's something in my eye. This is great. And by something, I mean an eyelash, obviously. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, and there's someone in chat crazy. What a sneaky little WH star star star. Look back is lame. Well, I'm yet to judge, alright? I haven't uh, watched the trailer yet. Um, I have a bias, you know, to hate it because I know Miller the Killer compares it to Chainsaw Man and says that it looks better than Chainsaw Man. But you know what? I'm going to be fair and honest and I'm going to give it a fair shake and blah 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 and it's going to be great, hopefully. Um, and Heath is dabbing with his two emojis instead of... Actually, maybe it is always two. I don't know. It's either two or three. Or maybe it's four. Who knows? I mean, I would know. Um, I guess he would know better, right? Anyway, we have a look back trailer to watch. Uh, and I already have the link because I'm prepared. So, look back for reference here. Wait. Was something that I read last year and I talked about it on the digest. Now, am I going to be able to find last year's digest easily? November, here we go. Actually, let's go to the December one. We want to see the last one of the year. December 2023. Nice four hours and 58 minutes. And we go to the rankings. Where is look back? Wait, why does this look so bad? Oh, it was the beginning. Wait, what is this? And then you... I don't want a graph. I want my my nice rankings. Show them. Make it clear. Oh, boy. And I... I don't want to hear myself. 
Look back. Where is it? It's in the five out of fives. Number eight. The eighth best thing I saw last year. So I'm expecting this movie to be very good. Okay. I like it as a story. Um, I guess also if someone is watching right now and you haven't seen Look Back, I'm going to spoil Look Back. So just like leave, I guess. <laughs> this is a spoiler talk about this. But um, Look Back is great. It, it uh, It's a sad story. I think it like made me tear up, but I don't remember. If you want to see if I actually did or not, go watch my look back section in somewhere in the digest and I would have truthfully spoken about it if I did or not. Um, but it's very emotional. Um, it's very good. It's very Fujimoto. It's very, it's a manga's manga. Like it's about making a manga. Um, I guess as much as like Air, Goodbye Aries is about filmmaking or whatever. Um, However, it's not perfect. It is a 5 out of 5, potentially a 10 out of 10, of course. Um, but I think the the final act was a bit confusing in an initial read-through. Um, and even now that I have a decent understanding, I think, of what was going on, um, my, my understanding, I guess, is that it was a whole what-if situation at the end, and it's just a coincidence that the thing flew under the door when it did, I think. I think that's like the context. Maybe I've just forgotten by now. Um, but I think even once you have an understanding of it, it doesn't feel very satisfying, I think. Um, I think that's my only drawback of Look Back comparing it to something like Goodbye Area, which I think is like a masterpiece. Um, yeah, so now I'm interested in this anime made by some other studio that isn't Mappa. Um, it had the name of a fruit or something. Was it like a mango or something? I don't remember. Some What studio was actually doing this? Wikipedia. Uh, not good by Ari. Look back, anime movie. No, not the manga. Oh, durian. Isn't that like a fruit or something? Or are we thinking of someone else? I don't know. Whatever. Exciting. It's going to be a difficult thing to adapt. Let's see. I love overcorrecting to piss off Miller. True. But right now we're going to be honest, okay? I'm going to pretend this has nothing to do with Chainsaw Man until afterwards when I talk about the comparison, obviously. Uh, it's literally my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I kind of agree, you know. How long are you streaming for? I don't know. As long as I need to. Usually that's an hour and a half. So I don't know, something like that. Kyle, if you were dedicated to the bit, you'd hate One Piece like Ari. I, yeah, true, you would. Um, it's confusing. Wow, wow, my brain can't handle it. Remember when I gave that first One Piece movie a four out of five? Because it was like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen visually. And then I tried to watch the anime and it looked terrible. And I decided, you know what? I'm never going to watch this. And then I thought, I'll give it a second chance. And then I watched it for a bit longer. I watched that first episode and I was like, you know what? I made a good decision by choosing not to watch this show. So I did give it two chances. It failed both my two chances. And now Miller's comparing One Piece to Chainsaw Man. And that makes it even worse in retrospect. So I have no interest in One Piece. But in fairness, it is in my approved sections here. Whereas One Piece, look at this, has been approved as a suggestion. Unlike uh, Mr and Mrs. Smith that has yet to be approved. Uh, anyway. Uh, now that conflicts with overcorrecting to piss off the Ari principle. Yeah, maybe. One of my f uh, one of my other favorites. Have you ever done that? I don't, I, maybe you have, I don't know. I feel like I don't get, I don't know. I can't think of an instance. Uh, also, I'm a B for real. I got no idea what Look Back was about. It's about making manga, but more importantly, it's about making friends. <laughs> That's really all it is. Um, the note flying under the door confuses you, but not the last explosion in Goodbye Aerie. That, that's the appeal of Goodbye Aerie, that it doesn't make sense. That's, that's the, that's like, that's what makes it a masterpiece. Like, it doesn't have to make sense. It's cool, because it's so cool. Like, that's it. That's the appeal of Goodbye Aerie. Um, like, this, this is, this is trying to, like, get you emotionally. And to get emotionally invested, I have to, like, not be confused, I guess. Like, I don't want to be, like judging whether I should be emotionally invested or if like, is this reality? Is this like, what's going on? Is this like a spiritual thing? Like, I, I don't like that when I'm just caring about the emotions, you know? Um, uh, hates the anime, would still rather watch it over read the manga. Absolutely. Imagine reading a long manga, having to like, you know, scroll through the pages and, and read and stuff. Ugh, I would hate that. I hate manga. True, I also hate uh, manga. And I hate friends. No, I love friends. Friends are great. Ari wouldn't get Goodbye Ari. I get it so much that I, I gave it a 5 out of 5. So that's how much I get it. And Finn Binlay is here saying hi. Anyway, we're going to watch this trailer. Is it on full quality? Yes. Am I going to have subtitles? Absolutely. Am I going to read them? Probably not. Oh, it's automatically generated anyway. So whatever. Oh, the real question is, am I going to watch this in the dub or the sub when it comes out? That'll be the real question. Anyway. I don't know what the hell they're saying. I don't care. 
誰それ隣の組にいる不登校とか藤野先生今日も藤野先生は漫画の天才です私もっと絵うまくなるね藤野ちゃんみたいに今日もとも私の背中見て成長するんだなあんたいつまで漫画描いてんのそろそろ絵描くの卒業した方がいいよ何してんだ私じゃあ藤野ちゃんは何で描いてるのうんごめんなんで私なんで描いたんだろうもっと絵うまくなりたいもん描いても何も役に立たないのに私役に立ててよかったすごくすごく楽しかったまたねまたねフォルズセイフォルルックバックうん Oh no, okay.、Um, what can I say? The music? Very good. I hope this is actual music they use in it.、Um, colors and lighting? Really good. I don't like the art style. It's, it's, I think it's way too similar to the original.、Um, like, this just looks like, to me, this looks like you've taken the actual manga and colored it, I guess, and made it move, which, I mean, a lot of people, I'm sure they like it a lot.、Um, to me, it's just like, hmm, I don't know. It just doesn't look that good.、Um, My biggest issue is the thing I always complain about every time I watch something that does it is the low frame rate animation. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's never stood out to me for any other anime, but why does it look so. I don't understand. Wait, look at this. Wait. I just don't understand. It looks. I've never noticed this in any other anime, but in this, it just looks. I don't know. It looks bad, the low frame rate. Like, like this. I don't like that at all. It just bothers me, you know? But it's not like it's CG. I don't know why it looks so bad. I don't know.、Uh, huh. I was expecting that I was really going to like this, actually. Because、um, when it initially got announced, I was like, I really like Look Back.、Um, I think the emotions are what matter in this. And if they can, I guess if they can nail the emotions, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of shocked that I didn't like it that much. I guess I can say directing wise, I think it's really good. But then again, I think, I feel like mostly what we got, except for the extreme like motion bits, it all looked like stuff I'd, with, that was familiar to me and looked familiar. I mean, the coolest thing was her running in the rain, which is like the famous. Probably the most famous thing in this manga, right? A lot of this stuff. I guess it could be interesting if they make this note stuff more cohesive by like shuffling things around in the order of the story. That could be good. Because that was like my major issue with the manga. I like the 3D shots like panning around the hallway like this. Like this is really cool.、Oh, not even that one, whatever it was. All right, I'm more mixed on this, all right? Looks good. There's some stuff which doesn't appeal to me. I'm sure it'll appeal to other people, but anyway. Okay. I, oh my god, it's so much better than Chainsaw Man. Oh yeah, I guess I, ca I can't even compare this to Chainsaw Man. These are two very different approaches to adapting something.、Um, yeah, this feels, like, this feels like you're doing a very close adaptation of everything in the original.、Um, Chainsaw Man felt very different. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't even compare these two. I would say the only comparison、um, would be that they're by the same author, which I wouldn't even say that's an important comparison in it whatsoever. Maybe if this was made by, if it actually, if this was made by Mappa, then I would be directly comparing them, but it's like a completely different studio, completely different director,、um, completely different story, com completely different tone.、Um, like art style, colors, everything is just different. Like I wouldn't even compare these at all. Like what would make you want to compare them? I guess just the author, right? Um, uh, look at the colors, look at the life. True, I like the colors. Life? I, to me, the low frame rate stuff just takes me out of any like connecting to anything. I don't know. I was, maybe it's just like 
this particular shot they got in here, maybe the actual movie will be better. I don't know. That always takes me out of a movie. It took me out of Spider-Verse, takes me out of... Was there anything else? What else was like low frame rate that bothered me? The, the thing is, it just... As soon as I think of Spider-Verse, that's all I ever think of. Um, there was something else. One, Some of the Star Wars Visions shorts that were like low frame rate trying to spe trying to simulate like stop motion or whatever. I don't like that. I never like it in anything, basically. I've never been like, oh, thank God they did the low frame rate with one exception, which is the um, Griffith Eclipse Vision stuff. I think that was really good use of low frame rate. Um, but that was because it was meant to be. It's not like part of the story. It's like some like, you don't really know what's going on. Like it's a vision, right? I don't know. Uh, oh my God, it's so much better than... Oh, I read that already. Look at the colors. Look at the unique, <laughs> unique vision. I don't know. I yeah, I'd say it's. Is there anything unique about this? I wouldn't say like Chainsaw Man is unique either in its vision. Like this feels a like a very close adaptation to the manga, right? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Lamau, he's blind. Are you talking? Can you not? See, am I the only one who can see this low frame rate thing? Does that not bother anyone else? Wait. All right, people have to tell me. Can you see this low frame rate thing? Am I am I literally going crazy? And like the shot at the end, it's not low frame rate. It's like missing in betweens or whatever, right? If it's two D animation, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. I don't know. Uh. Is this meant to be a feature film? I don't know how they'll make it last over an hour. I mean, who knows? It is a movie. Like, they've said it's a movie. Who knows if it'll be, like, a full-length thing? I have no idea. I can imagine this being, like, an hour and a half or something. Just, like, take it slow, you know? I don't know. Uh, based anime sucks. No, anime is great. I'm still, despite how mixed I am on this, I'm mixed in my, my anticipation. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be good or bad. I think there's still a very good chance this could be very good. Um, and it could just be, like, a... What I'm seeing in the trailer isn't the stuff of it of the actual movie that'll appeal to me, you know. Um, and I can't, I can't. Uh, Mila can't tell. Okay, I don't know then. Maybe I'm too used to watching videos on stream at 1.5, which makes it look smooth. I don't know. Animating on twos or whatever, maybe pretty common. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's never. I don't think I've ever had a. It's never bothered me, but maybe because like okay, one example I can think of. This is like a thing that missed in betweens that bothers me a lot. Um, how do I even look this up? AOT retrospective, right? Uh, flock versus <laughs> everyone. I don't know if I can find it. This bothers me, but this is a completely different type of thing. Cause it's like, this isn't character animation where they're like talking. This is like an action scene and it bothers me for a completely different reason. Like this shot here bothers me. Like it looks ugly to me. This, all this. Like this is all low, not low frame but it's missing a lot of like the smoothness, right? Like that, that's a, everyone loves this for some reason. I think this looks terrible. To me, I'm like, oh my God, what am I watching? Um, it's just so choppy and I don't like it. Um, that would be a similar example of this, but like for completely different reasons, which is that it takes me out of the action scene. Here, it, it's just like, I feel like I just, I don't know. I just don't like looking at it. Whatever, I've complained about this enough. Um, I'd have to count the frames on Sakugaboro to verify if it's on twos true. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, animating on twos? I have no idea. Anyway, that was look back. I would read these comments, but they're all in Japanese. Is there like a look back trailer? Is there like an English one? Or should we go and listen to what the actual subs are saying? Nope, still not there. Damn, man, this studio really make their art more Fujimoto than Fujimoto. Yeah, true, than Fujimoto himself. This looks like a very faithful style. Yeah, anyway. Oh my god, it looks like Asa when she was uh, in that first chapter when she's standing at the top of the school and she looks like young for some reason. Crazy. It moves every two frames instead of one, I, th I think. What does that mean? Like, I would assume that has to do with like the frame rate that it's airing at and then the frame rate, like the, the number of frames you're drawing or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're done. Look back done. Hopefully there'll be a second trailer and it'll be way better and I'll be so positive and it'll be great and I'll love it. But other than that, that's it. That's the end of this stream. I got nothing else to do. Just wanted to watch that trailer. What do I do now? 
We've got some videos. Not many. There's a Chainsaw Man one. I know Kyle sent this in my Discord, so I assume he just wants me to watch it. I don't know if he wants to watch it too. Right Eyes and Chainsaw Man. This could either be a very good video essay or a very bad one. I have no idea. I feel like it could be a very cool niche concept of like, no one's going to make a video about the right eyes being important. Or it could be like some theorizing about some in-universe law reason, which would be very boring. Who knows? Well, all anime is 24 frames per second. Okay, so you're saying it would be animated at 12 frames per second then, if it's every second frame. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Could be cool, but it's also more than a year old. Who cares? It's actually, it's not more than a year old. It's six months old. So I don't know where you got that from. I think you're just, you're 2024 obsessed. That's what you are. So I can't be watching it in my own time. True. So you want me to watch it? Is that what you're saying? All right. Then we got why everyone's a video essayist now. That's 20 minutes, but I don't know. The beginning could be interesting at least. We got a Bo Miles video from Bacon. This was, a vi I, I reacted to another Bo Miles video and I talked about it in Digest one time. Um, but that's, it's probably not a stream thing. I could probably just watch that off stream. I saw this random thing in my recommended. I took an Egon class that halved my IQ. I feel like that could be interesting. And then we have two AI videos here. Why AI is more dangerous than you think, a video essay. Um, I'm very interested in this because I'm just, I wonder what level of <laughs> discourse they're going to be talking about. Um, and the other one is AI and filmmaking. I also think this is really interesting because this video is the thumbnail is about the balloon short. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's like all the clips were made completely using Sora, I believe. Balloon, balloon man? I don't know what they call it. Not, not muscle, Jesus. Balloon man. Airhead, that's it. Like, as far as I understand, um, what excites us? I think all these shots are made with Sora, and then I think they're compiled and the sounds and everything are made by, like, a human director, right? All right, we're speeding this up. Oh my gosh. Well, they say everyone has something unique about them, something that sets them apart. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. Uh, windy days, for one, are particularly troublesome. Or well, there was one time my girlfriend insisted I go to the cactus store to get my Uncle Jerry a wedding present. Ugh. What do I love most about my predicament? Through the perspective it gives me, you know, I get to see the world differently. I float above the mundane and the ordinary. I see things a different way from everyone else. Yeah, and I feel like it's because of that perspective I'm reminded every day that life is fragile. We're all just a pinprick away from deflation. So I try to live life with a lightness, a buoyancy, a joie de vivre. I got a lot of ideas keeping this thing full. With any luck, I'll find a way to share them with everyone else. I mean, that's I, to me, that's like pretty cool. Um, just the fact that all these shots were made just using AI. Um, like, this is an interesting glimpse into what you could, like, the potential of this technology for future films, right? Um, so I'm interested in what this video is going to be criticizing that for. I assume it's a criticism, right? What was the, yeah, AI, this sucks? I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. So I'm mildly interested in this. But I don't know. We'll watch the beginning, see what we think. Uh, it didn't come out this year. It's useless unless it's on an Elite Ari stream. The video essay video Ari. The video essay video Ari will hate. Okay. Um, I watched that one. It was good. So it was okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm watching this one, turns out. It was sponsored by Scentbird. A few weeks ago, I was scrolling on X, my favorite website, when I came across a video with the caption, Airhead is one of the first short films made using Sora by OpenAI. The video was, as promised, a short film made entirely with AI. I'm going to play some of that. Well, not entirely, but the visuals were, right? Except for even this text. I doubt this text wasn't made by AI. Video now. Well, they say everyone has oh my god, is this going to play it? Oh session. my god. Alright. What a waste. Why did we watch that? Right now, but this felt like oh, it is already talking. What the hell? Short film made me think of short film made entirely with AI. I'm gonna play some of that video now. Well, they say everyone has something unique about them. Why is the quality so low? I don't know. Something that sets them apart. It's just in my case, you know, it's quite obvious what that thing is. This quote unquote short film made me think a lot of things, mostly negative things. It was hideous, corny, empty, embarrassing, and honestly. <laughs> 
AI just gets people so angry. It's so funny. It's a total waste of time. And that's just the short itself. Reading the comments below, it made me want to jump out of my window. It got me thinking about AI and the effect it'll have on filmmaking, something I was hoping I wouldn't have to think about for a very long time, but is now sitting here at my doorstep. I haven't talked about AI a ton on the channel, mostly because I think most of you guys could guess that I'm not a huge fan of it. What is there to add to the conversation right now? But this felt like the time to talk about it because not only does the conversation seem to be constantly evolving, but it feels like it's getting good enough, and by that I mean scary enough, that I feel I should, I gotta say something. To put it simply, it stinks. But you know what doesn't stink? Movies. As well as today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that I, I'm curious what it's gonna say. I know it's not gonna be of any <laughs> any value or anything, but I am curious. We're gonna watch the process, a new design right? fragrance to try watch a little bit more. $17. I recently got sent my four fragrances and my favorite. I'm has interested. Like, what is what is disgusting about this airhead thing? Is it like there's no like vision or something? But there's like a director, the director had a vision. I'm just it's curious. Ethereal wave. I don't know how, but it smells like this one hotel my family used to stay at when we would go to Chicago, and that's just. Or is it more the, about the jobs, like losing the jobs or something? I don't it just know. makes me happy. It's a good memory. They also sent me the Maker Lover, which smells really nice. It's a lot woodier. It feels very sophisticated. They also sent me Transcendent, which is equally sophisticated. But is this gonna be like three minutes long? What I love about Semper is that you get these designer fragrances without having to put in a lot of money. They offer affordable oh and flexible God. subscription plans. You can also skip a just so ethical. I would never skip this. Experience. They have over 700 perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. Everything from Gucci, Prada, and Versace to more indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. With the fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle. Go try it out, guys. And that's like, that, that'll last you a while. That's pretty good. Seriously, I've been using this almost every day. I can't imagine going a day without it. I cannot recommend Scentbird enough. Use my coupon code CARSTON for 55% off at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month. Available in the USA and Canada. So the thing about AI is that I don't think it's an entirely bad thing, which isn't the most unpopular opinion. I think everyone can agree the technology can be pretty groundbreaking. And Wouldn't that be crazy if AI was like unambiguously completely totally a bad thing? Is there anything in the world that is completely a bad thing? Regards. And as a tool, it can make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. Or more specifically, it can be used to get people where they need to go a lot faster. A good example of what AI can do for film is highlighted pretty well in this tweet from James Lee Animation that reads, I'm looking to pay someone for an AI solution. The job is to help me automate segmentation matting for use in isolating the teeth and lenses. Below is the ideal result I'm looking for. This to me is a great example of when AI can actually be super cool and useful. It can be used to take a neat idea and make the process of getting there a hell of a lot easier. But hold on, True. that sense is a bit foggy. Because while I think this is okay, I think this is stupid. The difference, in my opinion, is one of them is using it as a tool while they make the art. I see it as being similar to the auto white balance tool in Premiere, or motion tracking, or even audio syncing. These are all tools that I've used that automatically detect things to make the journey more about creating and less about tedious tasks. The other eliminates the journey altogether. That's probably why it's called mid-journey. Well, it didn't eliminate the journey. I mean, eventually it will, but right now it hasn't. I guess he's just afraid of the future? Because obviously someone had to generate each of these clips and stitch them together in an order and add the music and, like, voice and everything. Like, there's obviously a clear, there's a clear vision behind this. Like, an AI didn't just spit this out. Um, yeah. Journey. The journey you're giving yourself is mid at best. <laughs> but even when you look at AI as a pro for eliminating these tasks, it gets a little bit questionable. I don't mean for this to turn into a self-plug, but about a year ago, I made a music video for some friends that was basically a video collage of them performing on different billboards and walls. It was a very long-winded editing process that got very frustrating after a while because it was such a specific task that there wasn't a straightforward tutorial that I could look up as far as I knew. So I had to do a lot of manual keyframing and motion tracking, all out of love for the craft, because I really wanted to see this idea come to life. The result is about what I wanted it to be, and I was extremely proud of that final result. But it wasn't perfect. Every now and then there are some kinks and, and some jittery motion, but to me, those kinks make the thing what it is. One of the things that I find most fulfilling about this video when I reflect on it is I can see the headache of putting it together when watching it, and seeing the scrappiness gives it a more personable feel that, to me, is appealing. I wanted it to look collage -y. and the main appeal of a collage is you can tell it's a bunch of pieces put together. You can see the edges of the cutouts. It's not supposed to be a perfect illusion. Obviously, maybe not everybody feels the same way, but that's how I feel. And for a while, I thought, man, I wish there was some AI tool I could have used to make this easier, to make my idea come to life without the headache. Now, if I was James Lee Animation, and this was something I do all the damn time, yeah, I would want to streamline my process a bit. That makes sense. It's not like any major creative choices are being made in the segmentation matting process. But for this one specific project of mine. Well, I mean, there definitely is, but... I'm ultimately glad I can look back at it as something I did with my own hands, because I got to put the fellas wherever I wanted to put them. I have them move a certain way. You get the idea. To put it simply, it was the process of making it that made the video what it ended up being. We've all heard the reasons why AI art is bad, but film especially is such a depressing art form to see AI being used on. To substitute millions of tiny decisions that make something what it is with a Frankenstein-like creation that really is just that, a bunch of reference points molded together, it's depressing. I'm no tech expert, but isn't AI, by design, made up of things it already knows? Like, AI will never make anything that it's truly original. There's That's not true. It, it can. <laughs> There's no new perspective. There's no experience AI. It, uh, I don't even know. It, it can, yeah, it can make things that are original. It might, they may not be interesting things, but it can make things that are original. I, I do through That informs the decisions made in the film. The appeal of a film isn't just that it looks and sounds nice, it's that it came from a lifetime of experience, experience that inspires choices. And anyone, not just cinephiles, can recognize the appeal in that. Even if that experience and soul isn't on the surface, you can feel it in the film. It's what makes something resonate with you. Let me use an example of a film that AI people probably go nuts over. Joker. It's relevant again, why not? Even Joker, which I think is a- <laughs> Wait, why are the AI people going nuts over Joker? 
is a fine movie. I, I respect it quite a bit. Joker worked as well as it did because it felt like it was made by an actual guy. Todd Phillips being a director who mostly made douchey comedies, coming in and doing this little dark and twisted take on a comic book. So what happens in the future when you don't know if it's made by an AI or a human? Like this is, I brought this up before when we were doing, I remember we were typing stuff with the notepad. Like, do you just wait and see if you find out if it's made by an AI or, AI or a human? Do you assume it's made by an AI? Like, what do you do at that point? Do you just not, not watch it? Because you don't know? Like, do you only watch stuff you know is made by a human? Does it take away, like, afterwards when you enjoyed something and you saw imperfections and stuff, but later on it's revealed and AI made it? Like, what do you think, right? I don't know villain, it really struck a nerve with a certain crowd. A guy like that, to an extent, understood the perspective the film was coming from, and he made a series of decisions that made it really effective for a lot of people who had felt the same in 2019. Joker's actually a great example, because that film in itself is a borderline ripoff of Taxi Driver and King of Comedy, it's not subtle about it, but even then, even if it is a shittier version of those films, it does have its own contemporary style and voice, it's coming from its own place, it's still pretty different. Tell an AI to make a Joker movie in the style of Taxi Driver, and you'll get a far more surface level and forgettable film, a film that- Yeah, but why? Why would you, you know? There's no guarantee of that, I don't know. Boring, boring take. Well-made video, at least. It was entertaining. But boring ideas. Okay, it was good, so it was okay. Miller is pumping his fist right now. No, I'm sure even Miller wouldn't agree with that. There's no way. Um, God, they're all so soy. Author must be alive. True, we need the author. Um, all right, that's enough. A Should we watch this? Why AI is more dangerous than you think? Should we watch the first five minutes and get all the AI videos out of the way? Let's do it. Oh my god, it's like Bacon's video. The which one was it? The wire, I think. Yes, like a TV at the beginning. Alright, all guys, I have to show you that video, right? Just to prove that uh, Bacon makes good videos. Jockey Bacon, the wire, and Bacon did it better, of course. Look at this. Look at this. Whether it be classic, no, he's even got the audio Geo muffled. Ghibli or the rapidly growing anime and general otaku culture, 2D animation has been a staple art form for over a hundred years. It's a genre that makes space for insane creativity, one that allows for artists to break the limitations of the real world, showing us characters, landscapes, and cultures we have never seen before. And since the beginning of my critical media journey three years ago, this is the medium I've consumed most of, the majority being Japanese animation or manga. But about this time, last look at that, look at that intro, my god. Including the fulfilling. Should we allow AI machines to flood the internet with propaganda, fake news? Should we develop non human minds smarter than our own machines that might one day outnumber us? <laughs> oh no, is it the environment? Oh, oh pirate. Okay, it's just general stuff. Okay. This is interesting. Oh my god, I just realized it's a small channel. This could actually be interesting. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You what? Oh no, is it a comedy? People define comedy? artificial intelligence as the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. If you haven't heard anything about AI recently, then I don't know where you've been. It's everywhere and everyone's talking about sure. it. Almost every day a new article is written or YouTube video is made showing the awesome capabilities of these users. Well, just every day, probably like every hour, right? They're going to make life so much better for us. AI is one of the biggest and most polarizing topics in the world right now, and everyone is aware of its capabilities. But it is by no means a new concept. People have made stories about machines having their own thoughts and feelings. Do you think it's really that polarizing? Like, if you go outside of, like, Twitter, um... In real life, if you told someone with just, like, a who works, like, a 9-to-5 job, if you're like, oh yeah, AI is gonna, like... Take over. Do you think they really care that much? Is it really that polarizing, you think? Feeling since the 50s, when writers created stories about robots taking over the world and controlling the human race. While this is funny to look back on now, the reality is that we're only getting closer to that every day. Now, am I saying that AI is evil and is going to turn against us? Absolutely not. However, computers and AI language models such as ChatGPT have only been getting better, and some of the stuff they can do now is absolutely crazy. The point of this video isn't to worry anybody. As of right now, AI is nowhere near powerful enough to eradicate all of humanity or anything like that. However, with everybody talking about how great AI is, I want to discuss a few major issues with it that you might not be aware Seven. of. Seven! Oh, right, hello, we gotta guess what these are, right? Wait, let's get this notepad out. Wait, is that actually, is he listing seven? Or is it just like a generic number there? Okay, we've seen the, uh, oh my god, look at this, it's already numbered. One, climate change, uh, energy consumption. Two, so the count of this is either uh, green energy, um, more efficient models will be developed, um, AI will help solve the energy crisis. Uh, what else is a problem? Wait, what did he say? Seven major issues. 
with artificial intelligence too. It will take all jobs. True, it will. Um, is there any counter to this? I guess, um, I, I don't know. The counter would be like, I would have to come up with some way of like, what, like the world would be so transformed at that point that I, I couldn't even possibly imagine what the world would be like, but it probably will eventually. Um, no one will know what is true anymore. True. This will happen, but even right now, no one even knows what's true. It all comes down to trust. Okay, what else? What are the other issues with with AI? Um, climate change. I wouldn't have even thought of climate change as like a thing if he didn't put it in the intro. Uh, it'll take all the jobs, obviously. No one will know if it's true anymore. This is like flooding social media, basically, with all bots and everything, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's Carl Detainment who's just joined. Yeah. All right, what brings you here? Uh, it's on an Elite RE stream, so I gotta be here. And All right, I'm true. For our AI discussions. Perfect. Uh, hey, number four. Mm -hmm. It'll ruin all my favorite movies. No, I don't think this person's gonna talk about art at all because I think they're they're. More oh, it has to be. That. It has to be either one or seven. Like it's a little bit at the end that we're just gonna mention briefly that it makes the artist not mm. very happy. I think this will all come into the jobs. I think he's just gonna mention jobs and maybe he'll give artists as an example. Oh, like, oh yeah, even yeah, already yeah. the artists have been replaced or something, you know. Um, but besides these big three, I don't know what else there is. Um, tr uh, I would say trust in institutions, but that would be under the no one knows what is true anymore. Um. I guess it could kill us all, <laughs> maybe. Yes, death. <laughs> maybe, yeah. The counter to that is that it might not. I don't know if you align it well. <laughs> I truly... Is there anything else you can think of? I truly don't know. I think that's it. He'll surprise us with something. How oh long is this video? It's like seven minutes or something. Wait. 14 oh, my minutes. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Exceptional. I was thinking it was 35 or That's something. like one point per two minutes. Not bad. Uh, Kyle Entertainment leaves a comment here. Um, author must be a lie. Oh, you read that? I read that. You've literally got to trick people like how you trick people into admitting tr trans girls are hot. What? By showing True. them something cool and only revealing the AI afterwards. Oh, I understand. Okay, sure. You ever seen those th those pranks on the beach where they're like, eh, would you? And they point to the girl in the bikini. And then you're like, it's got a dick. And I have they go, never <gasps> seen no. something like that. The one thing I did see, I remember this. This was like 10 years ago or something. I think, what's the, is it Vitaly or something? The prankster guy? Um, I'm pretty sure that's his name. Maybe. He's like a streamer now. Oh my god. Wait. He made a, wait, Vitaly? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is him, yeah. He made a prank where it was like, someone was like bending into their car and they were wearing like uh, tights or something and you and the people walking past thought they were a girl, but it turns out it's a guy or something. Stuff like that. Anyway. That's how we got to get him, Ali, Harry. Yes, indeed. Did you see the Netflix AI drama today? No, but I also feel... Why did I hear something about Netflix today? I don't know. No, I didn't hear it, Heath. Let us know. And then Kyle Entertainment says, I flippin' hate Jockey Bacon. True. True. Okay, climate change, jobs. No one knows what's true anymore, and it's going to kill us all. Let's see. All right. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed. Nice. I have a lot of videos planned for the future, and you want to see more. Also, subscribing and commenting is the best way to let me know. I wish I could content. like it. Anyway, back to the video. Oh yeah, he's an incognito mode. Oh, <laughs> I was Political not expecting that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess like spying on people. Yeah. It'll be more useful tools to analyze people. At that point, though, I mean, no, I, I can understand this. This is oh yeah, you can point. like. You can, like, on a security camera footage, you can run the AI. Yeah. To determine who's a spy. Like, like it'll be candidates. very... If As long as you collect a lot of data, you can inference on that data immediately. Like, you can do things that you, a single human could never be able to interpret. Like, you can find connections and things that didn't exist before. True. This is an interesting point, I guess. Oh, he's going to talk about elections. Oh, that's not even what I was thinking. Wait, let's, let's keep going. Wait. Stop spoiling it. <laughs> Just saw it AI does. has the potential to drastically yeah. alter the outcomes of electoral votes and can entirely change the political views of voters. This may not seem true, but it seriously is. <laughs> With the next US presidential election occurring in less than a year and many other political races happening in the future, people are more aware than ever of AI's massive potential for swaying votes and having an impact on voters in ways we cannot predict. AI has a massive influence on the electoral process. 
AI-powered algorithms can analyze large data sets, including demographic information, social media activity, sure. and any online behavior, to identify patterns and predict voter oh. preferences. Oh if God. necessary, this information could be used to target specific demographics, tailor certain messages, and persuade voters to think a certain way without them even knowing. Because AI algorithms can optimize tasks so efficiently, and in such a calculated way, there's a very high chance if these methods were used, the success of different parties could be altered with very little difficulty. Not only is this an issue for voters individually, but it also undermines democracy completely. A representative democracy, like in the UK, relies on free and fair elections, where voters can vote free of intimidation or manipulation. However, with the wait, really? Without manipulation? Wouldn't it be manipulation from the people who are in charge or something? Because what is manipulation, Kyle? Is it like mean, trying to get someone it to vote for you? Has to mean like, yeah, yeah, like maybe no. They have to have political ads in the UK, right? Yeah, or at sure. least posters and shit. Well, you have <laughs> to promote yourself somehow. Otherwise, no one's going to know who you yeah. are, and you promoting yourself is a form of manipulation, Always. right? Maybe they just do debates on the BBC, the British. What if you lie in a debate? Is that manipulation? Should you be uh, removed from the debate? Removed from the race, I guess. Yeah, even? No. I don't know. Anyway, they probably got a little definition that solves all your issues. Literally. That's very true. That's what Destiny says, right? The dumb things, if you think about it, there's probably good reasons. And we trust Destiny, don't we, Kyle? We do, and we love institutions. Excellent. Or manipulation. However, with the incorrect use of this technology, we could be at risk of undermining fair elections and manipulating the public's political opinions. So I guess this is what all of the points are going to be. It's just like, oh, it just exacerbates, exacerbates, you know, that word a leader. Exacerbates, yes. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Pre-existing issues, like we can advertise better and therefore get people to do what we want easier. Um, That's true. However, I think he's already expended that point. I think he's going to move on to something new now. Because I think that... Yeah, no, I'm just well. saying, like, every everyone will just be, well, there's this thing that's already kind of bad, and AI mm -hmm. is just going to make it worse because oh, it's going to be sure. more effective. Yeah, true. Um, and I guess in the grand scheme of things, you've just got to weigh up all the things. So let's just say AI basically does everything better. Mm -hmm. Elite, are you saying yes? So, yes. Well, uh, most things, yeah. Is it going to do... Is it going to make the better things better more that it's going to make the worse things better? Or are there just more things that are good that it'll make better than more things that are bad that it'll make better? And then do we weigh those options and then decide as a society? Mm -hmm. There's also an inevitability to all of this. Yeah. Um, Someone's going to have AI. That is a very... True, which is a very... Oh my God, it's an AI arms race. That's why we need to make the nukes and the <laughs> AI nuke. Yeah, it is. Um, literally, yeah. It is an AI arms race. Uh, let's hope Joe is ahead of Trump in the AI arms race. Uh, Joe Biden? Yes. That's very funny. I get it. That's a reference to the American political election that's going on, guys, if you didn't know. Um, the Democratic Party's <laughs> got to be more on this than Trump, right? What's he know about this? I don't know. Who knows? But isn't Joe Biden, like, really old and he doesn't know things? So, I don't know. Who knows? Well, it doesn't matter if he knows things. True. His party does, right? Uh, and Heath here says they used AI to create an image of a true crime documentary in a true crime documentary, I think. That's pretty <gasps> funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Good. Um, what's the controversy? Well, I guess it would depend on what the image was and if they were doing it to lie to That'd people be funny, or something. Like, <laughs> you get rid of, like, in the shitty true crime things where there's, like, cheap reenactments that look terrible if we mm. just, AI is just already good enough to get rid of those. That would be great. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Wait a minute. Okay. I feel like movies will just change, right? Movies will just be things you mm -hmm. create for yourself and only you ever see. I guess that could be... Yeah. But then you can just... The AI can just make people for you to talk to about it. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends. Like, if you're, yeah. like, sad. It depends what ends oh, up being I harder. See it. I don't know. These are... These, what are we doing difficult. about porn, Elite Ari? Where it's, 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 that's inevitable, too, right? Well, yeah, if... Well, yeah, if if it, if you get good video generators or image gen, I'm sure right now even with just images, if it gets better and better, it's gonna replace probably real porn. I guess I don't know. Is it unethical to watch AI porn of the people you work with every day, Leary? Well, it would depend on if it. It depends on a bunch of things. But it's just for yourself, and nobody else will ever know. If Is you, it really yeah, different than I your imagination know. at that Maybe, point? Maybe probably. Is ethical? I don't know. Uh, it would depend on a million things, a million practicalities, probably. Um, the point is, all of these these things where you're like, oh, now I can't talk about it. Well, you just mm -hmm. watch the porn video and shut up. You, you'll be satisfied forever. True. No one really thought through the impacts of the internet, Kyle. It just happened. And maybe that I was a bad thing. Oh, my God. People just end up valuing different things completely from us. So 
Mm-hmm. That'll be fine, but we'll be like, no, it's not real. Go get a real girlfriend. And that'll be like, shut up, bitch. Yeah. True. Have you seen the movie Her, Kyle? No, Larry, it's on the watch list. Okay, good. All right. He says... Scarlett Johansson is a little AI voice. Oh, true. So, so, so. Oh my, I, th- I didn't know that until you just said it then. And I'm like, it is her, isn't it? It sounds just like her. Oh, my God. Um, oh, imagine if they made a movie like that today. Like, using AI to actually make the AI that's speaking to the person? That'd be crazy. <laughs> that, they should definitely do that. Someone's got to do that. Remake? Yeah. Oh, my God. Or, they, like, they don't even contact uh, the same actors. They just, like, replicate their voice or something? Oh, my God. Okay. They made an image of the murderer <laughs> happy before she committed the crime. That's so yeah, funny. I guess that's kind of funny <laughs> if it's, like, heightening the, the drama and, like like not representing reality yeah that could be an ethical thing that has nothing well, to do with the ai part. well it would depend on how yeah i mean that's interesting it would depend if they're trying to portray this as a as an, a discovering of the truth or something then yeah that would be bad if they, but this is like a movie like entertainment art piece i think that's really cool um but that's I funny think, yeah, either way true crime shit is always like that and then she licked her lips as she came into the <laughs> thing and See? killed the children mm-hmm. what a whore and then you go oh, that's mm-hmm. crazy and then you see a photo of her smiling before she does it, made of AI. Oh my god, crazy! Yeah, posing like, like she's got Tare's little head there, and she's gone. Mm-hmm. True. That was a Devil Man reference for everyone. Uh, it was read, read it. Okay, let's keep it. Four minutes edited, elite. Are you happy? Really? Proud? That's that's how much we're into the video right now. Four minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure four your first were four also minutes. Two yeah, days way more. Ago, so don't be so proud. <laughs> yeah, but you've been busy, right? Surely. Oh, uh, you know something mm-hmm. like that. All right, let's keep going. So everyone knows about ChatGPT, but not sure. as many people are aware of the other AI. I know. AI. It's a crazy number of people who know about ChatGPT. Um, and I, I guess it's, I think it's crazy because both my parents know about it. That's like crazy to me. <laughs> they don't, they don't... I feel like both my parents would not. That's You should ask them. I feel like you might be surprised. I was very surprised when my dad heard about it. Um, anyway, let's keep going once again. I are working on called Dali. Dali, to put it simply, they is think like it was, uh, destroying society, Elite Ari? No, they were just like interested in it. Like, oh, what what is this? They didn't really understand it. Now they do very well. Did they ask you because um, they knew you were an expert at it? Yeah, well, whenever the AI is brought up, yeah, obviously they come to me. But, yep, true. I am the expert, That's of course. That's why they're primed to know what it is. Okay. Very true. That could be a, yeah, good point. PT, but for images. It works in a way where you input a prompt of what you want to create, and Dali will create completely new the images banana. by combining the different parts of your prompt. The way that it achieves this is by... Where did this crinkled background meme come from that people have, like, done for their video essays? Do you have any idea? Like, was there some, like, Point famous person? Out, <laughs> no, I know. I think I've seen it in your videos. I think I've seen it in other people's videos. I've seen it right here in a small channel. In Innuendo Studios videos. So I probably mm. stole it from him. But he probably... I don't know. Maybe he was the original one. I don't know. It's just an easy background. But see, sure. what these idiots do is they, like, flip it and then have it move a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, whereas I, mean, this I moving, would just yeah. have, yeah. I think it's just the image like reflected and like, and then. No way. Like, Wait a minute. Two images <laughs> going back and forth. They are working on called Dali. Dali. Oh no! No, there's like a bunch of them. I think. Yeah, it could you could just zoom in and move it slightly? Oh but... yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. We're not gonna analyze this. There's too much effort. Okay. Dali, to put it simply, is like ChatGPT. Video but for lane. It works in a way where you input a prompt mm-hmm. of what you want to create, and Dali will create completely new images by combining the different parts of your prompt. The way that it achieves this. Well, is it doesn't. It doesn't exactly combine the different parts of the prompt. There. By scouring the internet for images of whatever is in your prompt. See you later. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Video. Wait, wait a minute. What did he just say? Wait. But for images, it works in a way where you input a prompt of what you want to create, and Dali will create completely new images by combining the different parts of your prompt. The way that it achieves this is by scouring the internet for images of whatever is in your prompt. It will learn what distinct characteristics make up your prompt. Wait, this is during training though, but wait. And then create an entirely new image based on those characteristics. No, <laughs> that is that is a very bad description of how Dali works. Um, when you're training it, that's what it does. But when you type in, I want a banana, it's not like it just goes to the internet and looks for bananas and learns the concept of a banana and generates a banana. It's just like, it just knows. It already knows, bro. Anyway. Well, if I was listening to this, I would have been like, yeah, that's probably how it works. All right, yeah. Well, that's why we need to correct it right here, okay? But it's a small channel, so they yes. get they get a pass. I don't hate them yet. When this is, this one when is... this section is uploaded to YouTube, the Elite <laughs> RE uh, debates AI hour, as he's going to call it, because we're going to include mm-hmm. the video before this. Uh, 
all the people will will now learn. And then your little fan base, your little Destiny fan base, will all mm -hmm. go around and say this on every video they ever see, and they'll send you other videos that do this, and you'll just be famous mm -hmm. debunking AI videos. AI expert reacts. Oh my god, wouldn't that be great? I would not want to do that, but that that would be great, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh! And we could have like I could have a controlled opposition in Miller. Like I would have him say things, and um, I could like <laughs> I could like tear them I'll down be or the something. Funny side <laughs> True. Oh my god. Oh. And then my ultimate boss will be like, I'll challenge Muller to an AI debate because I know my fans like they hate me because I'm Muller. That'll be perfect. Oh my god. Oh, yes. All right. It's incredible, and it shows just how far we've taken this technology. However, there are a few issues with using AI to make art. The first question is- Oh my god, he is talking about art. This is crazy. He predicted genius. everything. Genius! Of, of course he is. Is this really art? I mean, it's an image of something, but is it art? True. Well, according to Google, not really. What is art, however, oh. are the thousands of actual pieces of art that actual artists made that are used to create these AI images. In order to create the image- This man is a genius. That's, ex that's exactly right. People are using it, so therefore it's art. Oh my the god. The AI needs reference images of the prompt to base its design from. Not just one or two, but hundreds of thousands. This data set of images is taken from all over the internet. It could have even taken your own art if you've posted it anywhere online and used it in a data set to create new images. Not These my art. <laughs> that is true. You do have art out there, Kyle. It is your, your videos are art. That's pretty crazy. And thousands of images yeah. made by real people, which are almost all copyrighted. All of these images are added to the data set without the permission of the intellectual property owner. The worrying thing Probably is that if true. you, yeah. at any point, have posted any image of yourself or your artwork nice. or your home, there's a very high chance that those images have been used in a data set to train an AI model. Alito, this is this is also, I'm just giving you all the best arguments. Just, mm -hmm. just if you ever argue with somebody and they say that, just say, so if they paid all the artists, would you completely be okay with AI <laughs> art moving forward? Or is this completely pointless and brought up mm. for no reason? Yeah. There was that, the one you wrote would, down yeah. before where, where that was exactly what I was thinking, but I forgot what it was, what it was in your little notepad. Climate change, of Oh course. my god, let me... Wait, is it not uh, zoomed in? <laughs> no, I can see it, I can see it. I was just lying down, mm. you know, being lazy. Right. No one will know what's true anymore. So oh yeah, that it was that one. I was like, I was like, oh, if every AI thing is mandated to have like a this is created with AI thing in the little corner, mm -hmm. uh, would you would everybody be okay with it? No, no, they wouldn't. Yep, true, very true. Good job, Kyle. You always People think don't of the like AI yeah. elite re, not for reasons because it is icky mm. and not what has always been. Except for Miller, because he thinks it will destroy humanity, and I think. That's a valid, that's one of the valid arguments, oh. right? I agree with him on that, potentially. We'll see. This is a slightly smaller point, but it still reigns true. Something that many smaller, people the environment, oh don't my realize massive. is that training an AI model is extremely harmful to the environment. The data sets used to train AI are getting larger every day and taking an incredibly large amount of energy to run. The MIT Technology Review reported that training just one AI model can emit over 626,000 pounds, or almost 30,000 kilograms now, is that of carbon a lot? dioxide equivalent. And that a single data center used for storing these data sets consumes an amount of electricity number, equivalent to that. Yeah, like, just compare it to something, you know. 50,000 average American homes. AI is cool. Oh, there we go, 50,000 American homes. All right, perfect. This much damage, is it really worth it? Couldn't it just, like, oh. optimize all of our problems and shit? Oh, would you look at like, that? AI well, will help solve the energy focused. crisis. Oh, uh, yeah, shut up. So mm -hmm. really Absolutely. Crazy. I think that's one of the... I've even seen people working at OpenAI, like, talk about this, how one of the ways of solving, like, uh, gl uh, global warming is to actually develop AI that will c combat global warming or something. Oh, my God, it's so great. Anyway. Sometimes you got to go a little backwards to go forwards, literally. Amen. Isn't that true? There's nothing new in technology transforming the economy from the steam engine to the smartphone. But few innovations promise change as fast or fundamental as artificial intelligence. AI and machine learning technology poses as a real threat to employment, and many people are becoming worried that their job may become automated within the next few years. True. This is justified, as BT recently announced that 10,000 jobs will be replaced by artificial intelligence. Wait, who is BT? Is this like a... British, British something? <laughs> testimonies. BT company. British trade. Oh, it's some financial thing? Some, like, big wealth management group? It's like that the BlackRock or whatever everyone freaks out about, right? Oh. Or is it, no, is it Australia? I don't know. Well, I'm sure Wait, it's something. this British bloke <laughs> is talking about an Australian No, 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 no it's probably crazy. another BT British 
something. BT Group is a British multinational telecommunications holding company. Isn't that crazy? We learn something every day. I'm amazed right now. Yep. Think they make telephone calls? Yeah, pro no, probably not. They probably like own the assets of businesses who do. Anyway. Could AI really take your job? BT says yes. Intelligence within the next decade. No, of course, decade. the rise of oh, AI yeah. and related technologies will also end up boosting... Wait, only 10,000 in a decade? <laughs> that's pretty, I'm yeah, that is pretty crazy. over here. Hurry Jesus up. Christ. I mean, that's a, that feels like a very conservative estimate, but yeah. ...many countries, and will eventually supply more jobs. However, the UK seems rather split on how to feel, and it's unclear whether this replacement of jobs is overall positive or negative. There are certain jobs that could of course be carried out by AI and machines. However, a lot of people agree that even the jobs that don't need humans still benefit from them. It could be argued that call centers could be automated, and AI could be trained to respond to customers as they need it. But surely it's not the same as there being a real human on the end of the phone, right? <laughs> Wait, why not? It could be. Oh my god, another point? <laughs> Gee, I thought he was done with the art stuff. Of course, I couldn't make a video about AI without discussing the recent plagiarism controversy with students using ChatGPT. And oh, it's about her students work. not learning it's not really Italy, though. True, yeah, true. But realistically, this was always going to happen. If students have the choice between spending their night writing a 3,000 word essay or getting ChatGPT to do it in 20 seconds, what do you think they're going to pick? Alidari, do you think it's fucked up how school just sucks? I love school. What's the issue like, with school? Like, there's not a... There's like... Shut up, Alidari. Like, 99.9% .9 of school kids are never going to choose to value their education. Just never. It's never going to happen. If it's like, well, I could sit down and actually learn this and uh, spend f five hours doing that. Or mm -hmm. I could just copy it on a chat GBD thing and go do something way funner. Mm -hmm. Like, they're always going to make that decision, right? I would always make that decision. Well, but I, I don't. But I school at all. I... For some things, you yeah. I mean, it's I don't know what the people are gonna do, but you don't just do you don't you don't do well in school because you just don't care about. Wait, I don't even know what I'm saying. There's other pressures on you, right? Like you don't want to let down the people who are like even your parents or something if they want to see you flourish or something. You don't want to let them down. Um, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but people are gonna have pressures in their life like that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it'll it'll and be I more difficult like of... to get motivated because you're like, I could just do this and it'd be so much easier. Um, yeah, I don't I mean, know. I mean, you can just do in-person tests, right? I Yeah, I guess you could. Like, yeah. And I'm sure if you even if you don't have to do them on a piece of paper, I don't know how these kids are doing tests anymore, but if they're doing it on a computer or something, you can just like lock the window or something. I'm sure there's a way to do that. Mm, maybe. So they would have to learn it in order to pass, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, true. But yeah, at home assignments are going to be like that, huh? But remember when there was those well, funny English ones, Lead Where mm -hmm. you had to like write your essay and then you had to learn it off by heart to then write that it was, down. Yeah, that was, I, that was the thing I hated. Oh my God, it was terrible. So much oh, stress. Oh, I never and... did it not once, yeah. Lead uh, I, <laughs> I would just uh, make it all Jesus. up on the day. Fuck you know what? I, it was so terrible because I, for the final exam, um, I had memorized the whole essay by... I don't know if you know what the method of loci is or whatever, but like you basically picture like a location and you place different objects in that location in your mind. And when you want to recount it, you travel through the location in your mind. And because it's associated with like a spatial awareness, it's like more, you're more likely to recall it. Um, and I broke down my essay into every single point was associated with a particular object that I stored in this, like, <laughs> what do you call it? Like this map around the, the, around my school. And I would like walk around it. And God, was that stressful just trying to memorize all that. Jesus. I, that was, those were the most stressful days of my life when I was trying to memorize those damn English essays for my final exam. Anyway. Sometimes for hours, they would let you like write down a hundred words on like a little Jesus. thing that was numbered one to a hundred. Mm -hmm. And so you could take that in to try and drug your memory. And I remember showing up and my grade 11 teacher was very disappointed because I had zero words on my thing. <laughs> oh my God. God, I'm Why so would you, cruelly, why? Very... why? Jesus. Because I'm not taking my time to fucking write down i got youtube oh videos to watch God. did you bro might have uploaded a leader i didn't give a fuck That's he knows crazy. more about english than these english teachers right yeah probably yeah uh, crazy all right well imagine if you had chat gpt you could just be like write this for me please and it would do it you wouldn't even have to say please no but then like... i still would have had to type that into chat gpt and then write it rid of them all down yeah you could just speak to it it is you could be like hey chat gpt can you do this and it'll like but i still gotta get it onto and... the paper uh, yeah, but these days you can just email stuff, right? You don't need to, like, submit stuff in person anymore, surely. Maybe. All right.
Okay, Mr. Etsa, I say prepare to be ready. Oh, this is you. I remember oh, this man. episode. <laughs> True, I do as well. He's gonna write the letter E really good. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. And some of these, and some of Almost these. Done. Now let's see how it looks so far. That He's gonna edit it so ChatGBT is. Like oh no, he did it. <laughs> oh my god. I remember that. Didn't he like set the house on fire or something? I don't, I don't know why I remember that from that episode. It's been so long since I watched any Spongebob related things. I don't True. even remember. Mm -hmm. All the efforts from schools and with AI themselves, trying to stop students plagiarizing from ChatGPT, it's still gonna happen. No. What's the last one gonna be? Oh my god. Oh wait, no, there's, there's more. All right, let's keep going. This is still gonna happen True. shit is like very unsatisfying. Yeah. Aside from being used to make videos of presidents playing Minecraft. Hello everyone, welcome to the Minecraft server. Guys, don't make it like last time. I don't want any cheating. You heard that, Ben? I was using a texture pack, which is part of the game. Therefore, I was not cheating. Oh, sure you were. Guys, how do I make a furnace? How the fuck Some of these were funny to... because, you know, it's, I watched a bunch of these where it was like uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump debate Pokemon or something. Mm -hmm. And it was funny to see which ones they would pair the opinions to. And you would judge sure. the little clip off that. Yep. But uh, other than that, AI is bad and it's not funny. I mean, it was, I think it was funny for a time. It's not funny anymore. Deep fakes are used to influence people into believing that other <laughs> Jesus is the worst deep fake I've seen in my life. said things that they haven't. As of right now, deep fakes really aren't too much to worry about, as most people are using them to get SpongeBob to sing their favorite song or creating entirely new Drake songs. While the current use of deep fakes is just to make me. Oh, this was 10 months ago. I was like, why is all the like visuals and everything outdated? That makes perfect sense. Okay. This doesn't mean that they don't have the potential to cause harm. The deepfakes created five years ago are nothing compared to the ones that you can make now. With the ability to God, make God, and he should imagine if he was living right now, ten months later, where you can give it audio and it'll just make someone say it. It's crazy. If anyone say anything, the potential for corruption and malice is worryingly high. Ice Cube recently threatened to sue anyone who tries to use AI to recreate his voice. <laughs> During an appearance on the Full Send podcast, Ice Cube made his stance clear. I think AI is demonic. I think AI is <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Real people. True, it AI is. Yeah, I, and I'm a pseudo motherfucker who make it too. Aside from being used. To God, Kyle. Just imagine if this was a fake clip that he used in this video to like made made him say it with AI. Oh my God, that'd be the ultimate. And he's like, gonna reveal it right now and say, <laughs> "Psych, you didn't even oh, know." That would be genius. I I would try. I would definitely try something like that. Oh my God, I got I it. That's on my list now. <laughs> Well, says, we're in a different country. Up. We we believe in free speech and all that. Blah blah. blah. We can. We'll be we'll, we'll be okay, Kyle. Right? Surely. Fuck who make it too. Aside from being used to imitate artists, deepfakes can also be used to imitate celebrities and people in power. Meaning that in the wrong person's hands, a lot of damage could be done using deepfakes alone. It's probably scarier for the local level, right? Like someone in school making a deep fake of you and then spreading it around. That's probably way more damaging than like a, some politician getting faked, right? Surely, and like the personal level, that'll impact your life way more. Mm, I guess. But you yeah. could trick some boomers on Facebook real easy, so I don't know. Yeah, you could, but yeah, I guess, yeah, you could. That's why we need citations, you know, like Twitter does. <laughs> the community notes? Is that what you're talking about? That's what they're called. True. Did you know you're talking to a proud community note person who uh, occasionally um, upvotes or downvotes notes? But you had no idea. I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm. You have to like become a, you have to sign up for it and then they have to like verify you and blah, blah, blah. So I've been verified. I can contribute now. Anyway. Con controversy? It's inevitable that scam artists would find a way to use AI and deepfakes for their game. But some of the methods of doing this are incredibly scary and incredibly real. Oh voice my god, stuff. what if your mum gets a phone call and tell Elite Ari's voice and it says, mm -hmm. Mom, I've been kidnapped, you gotta send a thousand dollars right now, happened. right now. I'm and sure then, that's what he's gonna talk about. <laughs> Jesus. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I mean, a little bit, yeah. For the most recent oh, what if they used work. parrots in the 1980s <laughs> to do Jesus that? Jesus Christ. Or well, like you just sound somewhat have... similar and like make the voice muffled and it's like good yeah. enough, I don't know. Or like, yeah, just like take out a clip of like, from a stream? I don't know. About. Scammers will essentially clone the voice of somebody's loved one and use it to convince the person on the phone to transfer money urgently, as if it's an emergency. I'm wanting to give your daughter back to you, but I, I need some cash. There is no oh my god, Alita, <laughs> I'm a fucking god. Yep. Everybody should kill themselves except All around for me. the world have fallen victim to this scam recently. Just a few days ago, a man in Northern A few days ago, I think it means 10 months ago. lost the equivalent of £500,000 to one of these scams, believing that he was sending the money to a friend of his who was being held for ransom. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy probably was going to lose that money eventually somehow. 
if you're if you don't do any of the checking or calling the guy who was apparently kidnapped to if you, I don't I don't know how does that even happen how do you do that like I said at the beginning of this video I don't want anybody to worry however being more aware of these scams might make you less likely to fall victim to one of them in the future there are so many scams Leary like, I'm sure there is on yeah. the news every day there's like now, another thousand people were scammed by clicking an email link. The 72 year old woman lost her all of her retirement savings. And it's like, yeah, man. But never us, Kyle, right? We're going to be hip and I get understand like a text the text a day. Yeah. I get like a text a day that's like a scam thing where it's like you have unpaid tolls, mm -hmm. click here to pay them, uh, or, yeah. or a MyGov thing or whatever. And it's like, that would be really easy to click on if it wasn't, yeah. <laughs> if I didn't drive and <laughs> knew this was fake. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. get like a post office one. It's like, oh, you have mail waiting and you missed the yep. delivery. Yeah, that's like, oh fun. my god. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh my god, it could be real. Oh my god, I do have mail coming. But no, they never get me. I'm too smart. Should we be worried, Kyle? What I'm do you worried. think? Yeah, true. We should be worried. AI is still a very new venture that is full of uncertainties. And AI. Oh, uh, actually, it's been around since the 1960s, I think. So it's not that new, but all right. So yeah, video games have AI. That's very true. Yeah. Be dangerous. Being more aware of how AI works and how to avoid AI propaganda and scams is something that we all need to do, as they're not going away anytime soon. The issue with students using it in school? Well, not much can be done about that, except trusting that students will just do their work as intended. However, I think that AI has a lot of potential for good too. Artificial intelligence powered by deep learning algorithms is already being used in healthcare. AI's imaging capabilities are promising for cancer identification and screening. A group of oh researchers my god, so much to do a PhD on that. The development of diseases with a 94% accuracy. Not me. Another great thing about AI is that it can help to fight world hunger. By determining the perfect crop, developing seeds, and controlling herbicide application in specific areas based on geographical data, AI can help improve food production in areas that otherwise would AI is going to help AI me develop help seeds if you know what I'm saying, Ilyari. <laughs> well it done, has guy, yeah. to make our life so much easier and improve our world in ways we can't even imagine. Wow, look at this outro. Thank you for watching. This is beautiful. This is my first video essay. That was fantastic for a first video essay, I think. This um, is where our lead already goes. <laughs> it's only a small channel. Let's not make fun of him. No, I think this was perfectly fine. Um, I think the there there was that initial complete misunderstanding of how Dali works. But other than that, I think it's like a decent, very surface level take on like the bad things that could happen with AI that I'm sure a lot of people probably have never thought about. Um, this was this was He's feeling valuable. a light to decent four on this one. Out of ten, lead already doesn't understand the reference. Oh, okay. Oh, the the music guy. Anthony, whatever. Oh my god, he does understand. Yeah, because he said it last time, and I didn't get it last time, but I learned kind of. No, right? I've never repeated a joke. Yeah, because he said it in the chat, and then you were, you were like, oh, you get that one? And I'm like, no, I don't. No, right? he didn't. I would remember this if <laughs> this right. happened. Well, you'll get to that stream eventually when you're catching up, I'm sure. Um, oh, but you yeah, know, you were there, though. In... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, look at this small channel making videos. We love it. We love to see it. All right, Elite, are you, are you, you have to undertake the task of entertaining your stream alone for oh, about yeah, one yeah. minute, okay? I got this. So I got piss. All right, so. You can do it. Guys, go subscribe to Sam Mac, all right? We, we love it. Someone who's making interesting AI videos. Or you can close this one, we don't need this. Let's go over the recommendations here, okay? We got, we got the, actually, let's go in reverse chronological order. Sound of Metal. We got Howl's Moving Castle. This is England, recommended by Cichlid. This is a, a top priority. Uh, the Triplets of, of Belleville. I assume that's what that is. Peaky Blinders. The Garden of Sinners, recommended by famous Chatter Heath. Oh my god. Uh, top Boy, Mary and Max. Um, One Piece. I, I would assume that was Miller the Killer who recommended that, but I'm not sure. Gintama. I have actually watched like 60 episodes of this. I need to keep watching it. Uh, Megalobox. Rent a Girlfriend. Um, do it yourself. I don't know. These feel like Heath anime because Heath has seen like a bunch of anime. So I don't know. Do it yourself. Maybe not. Maybe someone else recommended it. How not to summon a demon lord, I think. Demon something. Uh, welcome to Irabu's office. That looks really cool. Whatever it is. Did someone recommend that in chat or something? I think. Where's Madman? We're getting there. Maybe it's there. Uh, Dororo. Apparently this is really good. I've had that recommended before. Ascendance of a Bookworm. I've also heard that. It's probably You know, good. Elite Ari, Dororo mm -hmm. is even older than devil man except you're watching the shitty new anime yeah, i'm watching the mapper anime i think this is by mapper right yeah i have no idea yeah, 1968 manga now that's crazy it, it yeah that's good to hear i love old things they're great no like just like naruto right naruto is really old and we love naruto don't we kyle always started in 1997 or something mm -hmm. uh monogatari um from the new world never heard of it 
but it's from 2012. That's pretty crazy. Anatomy of a Fall. I've I've heard of this. I don't know why. Is this like on your list or something? Why have I heard of this movie? It probably is. It was one of the best not picture nominees this year. I can't remember which one it is. What's the right. synopsis, Alidari? Anatomy of a Fool. You don't know? Letterbox. Anatomy of a Fool. Oh my god, Alidari, they're making gaming letterbox and not shit. It's going to be great. I did I did see that link. True. A woman is suspected of... Wait. Yeah, of her husband's murder and their blind son faces a moral dilemma as the sole witness. That sounds interesting. I, I feel like I saw footage because I remember thinking, oh, everybody likes this movie, but the synopsis is whatever. And then I think I saw footage of it in a video recently that I watched that was like top 10 movies of 2023. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. it looks kind of cool or something. Like it's really wacky or something. I don't remember. Yep. Well, it's on the list. Eventually I'll get to it, I'm sure. Horton, here's a who. I think I've seen this, but it's like so long ago that I, I don't know. I guess I'll put it on the list. I remember I seeing ads to this when I was a wee little boy. Oh, yeah, in 2008, that's crazy. Um, terror in Resonance, mildly interesting. Oh my god, it's the terrorism anime. Shogun, everyone everyone has recommended this to me, so I guess I have to watch that. Ah, shit's lame. Clannad, that's like very popular, right? I've heard that a million times. And the yeah, Fallout series. Yeah, you're gonna series. cry, Elite, are you? So oh, I love sad. things that make you cry, that's great. Yeah, Fallout. Uh, and Heath says, um, I've only put two things on there. Okay, interesting. Anyway, those are the approved suggestions. Now, my personal radar, we have Threads, which is a, it's like a, a about Girl nuclear war or something. I don't know. It sounds, yeah, it sounds interesting. Uh, In Time, that's like a fun blockbuster kind of thing, I guess. I we got Black Lagoon, which I've actually, I've watched oh, one good. season of it. Yeah, Kyle was, it's like doing the intro there. It's crazy. You know, um, Elite RE, what I thought when I got home tonight, I was like, oh, I'll watch a Black Lagoon episode. And then some fucking whore started streaming. Yeah, that's shame. Yeah. We need to get through Black Lagoon so I can watch this damn Madoka movie. All right. I keep watching clips and I'm like, I'm just going to, you know what? Maybe I'll just watch it. Maybe I'll leave Kyle behind and just watch this damn movie. Um, but you know what? We'll get through Black Lagoon first. Okay. Maybe. <sighs> okay. Spirited Away. Obviously, everyone's heard of it. Doro Hedora, another mapper thing. The Wire, Bacon's favorite thing. To Your Eternity. I've been had that recommended a long time. Death Parade. That's the Mob Psycho guy, I think. Akabi's Sailor Uniform. We watched that one uh, video about it. it. looked really cool. Ruby Ice Queendom. I love Ruby. Devilman Crybaby. Uh, Kyle, uh, we read through Devilman, and this was like okay. there. And I took that one footage from my Apocalypse movie, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen, so it's probably really good. Um, Pluto, Cichlet recommended this, and also we watched that trailer that one time, and also it looks really good. Um, free Run, I'm currently watching it. A Silent Voice, had this on my list for a long time. I actually had this downloaded for a long time, but I never watched it. Um, the Holy Mountain, this was recommended on the Your Movie Sucks podcast thing I listened to today. That went for like seven hours. Um, oh my goodness. Yep. Oh no, that, I think this was actually on the Anything Else podcast, which was only, yeah, only two hours or something. Uh, Godzilla Minus Best One. That has not been uploaded. Oh yeah, I just watched it on the Kick stream, you know, as you do, but it's probably been taken down by now. Um... Yeah, Godzilla minus one. Apparently, this is coming to digital in like a few weeks, which is crazy because usually it takes like many, many months for it to come out um, overseas. So that's great. Soil Lead Ari this. still hasn't watched Shin Godzilla. Embarrassing. True. I don't. I don't like watching uh, live action yelling. things directed by anime directors. Ugh. Why would I ever do that? God. And The Walking Dead, the ones who live. How exciting. That's my personal radar. And Mr. and Mrs. The Madman just got killed and destroyed. The only thing I've this never been suggested. I did when you first did it. <laughs> Wait, you Unless put it on here? Well, yeah, I in the little thingy. there was a time where I cleared the suggestions because it was just in beta, but now it's not in beta <gasps> anymore. So, yeah, it was definitely a second beta. Chance. I don't want right. to put Madman on there. I was just checking if you could find it. Nope, it's not in there. I mean, look at this Mad Men. Oh, it's going to pop up right here. Look at that. 2007. Crazy. I could add it right now, but I'm not going to. But I could, but I'm not going to. Okay. But he's not going to. Anyway. Did you play Firewatch yet, Elite RE, the greatest video game of all time? The only thing I've played is Deep Rock Galactic, and I put it on my media list because I finished it, basically. I only I only recommended that one like a year and a half ago. That's true. I think I was very I think I even bought it, I think. I was very close to like playing it. But then like I just got behind you know, it. I played a whole video game Elite RE the other day. True, that's right. Why don't you tell everyone about her story? Go ahead. Uh, it's a little video game where you just use the search engine, and that's the whole video game. Let's have a look. 
her story. Spoilers, Elite RE. This was a, yeah, this is a game image. you can play on stream, Elite RE. Absolutely not. I would never do that. The only game I'm ever playing is Minecraft, of course. Nothing else. And Astrony that one time, but I only said that stream because I didn't like it. Okay. So Elite RE, you got like uh, five little interviews with this woman here. And mm -hmm. it's about the murder of uh, somebody. I guess I shouldn't say who because even that's a little bit of a spoiler, even though it's revealed in the first three seconds of the video game. Mm -hmm. And it's in the synopsis. It's her husband, Elite RE. That's oh, crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you gotta you gotta watch them and see what happened to Leary. All right, perfect. How long and is you the watch game? them in little clips that are like two seconds to fifty seconds long, mm -hmm. cut out of order on these like six or seven interviews she did with the police officers, and the and the mystery is unfolded. Is it satisfying? Did you? What do you give it out of five? It was pretty cool, Elite RE. There was that a cool aha moment that's really cool in video games. You know, when you get a aha moment. Right. Uh, and there was like two or three of them. And I was like, man, this would be a good game to stream. Very true. What and was that? Like... Wait, go ahead. Go ahead. It was only like three hours long or something. Oh, that's perfect. I love short games. You could do it in, 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 in more. Elite RE, I'm telling you, you should play it on stream. I would never do that ever. Um, why not why not because i am not a gaming streamer and i never want to become a gaming streamer ever i hate gaming streamers all right never never not not even Maybe once you okay. it is because there is there is like two like basically sequels uh to this mm -hmm. game uh that are a little longer and a little bit more abstract i'm mm -hmm. like man Maybe I should not play them now and wait until I am a big time streamer because, you know, I just figured stuff out pretty quickly, Leary. So I just want chat to know that I'm really smart when I play mm. these games. Uh, so that's why I want to play them on stream one day. Well, if it's just videos, you could probably, your your laptop could handle it, right? Uh, maybe, I don't know. All right. Well. What now, Kyle? It's pretty good. I gave it four stars on Letterbox, except it, it's called games? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. True. I don't have one of those because I don't play. I don't play many games, except for the ones. And I, I got all the achievements, Elite. Already. Jesus, really that's pretty crazy. You're like a gamer. It was like Is this on Steam? It's on Steam. It's on sale now for like one dollar. Perfect. Well, all the gamers in the audience, the thousands of viewers listening in the t 10 years from now when I've blown up and everyone's watching the old VODs, go play that game, all right? Mm -hmm. Actually, speaking of uh, blowing up, uh, how's uh, how's our video going? We should we tend to say 500 Oh my god, last time I checked, it only had 10 comments. Does <laughs> it have any more? It's, and had, so Kyle, new. it's had 10 comments since I think the first day came out. <laughs> it's still 10. Kill yourself, audience. Yep. Crazy. How many views? 500. 530. It's not bad at all. Fuck, we're famous. Yep. I'm I um I've looked at my analytics for Lead Ari and I am I can tell Mishoko Tensei is back because these two are getting a lot of views at the moment. Um I mean they're still like on the incline, but I can tell in like Wait, a week or two. On? I can't see the little the little oh, one ninety five or one ninety six and one fifty three. Oh, so they're getting there. I reckon game. after this season's done, they'll probably both of them will probably be above two hundred K. But we'll see. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't blow Check up. Check Griffith's out a million yet, Elite Ari. Oh, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? If we see it on the stream. Oh my god. Yeah, it's only at like eight hundred and forty or something. But it could have blown up. Oh my god, what a shit. Eight fifty. Oh my god. Crazy. No oh my goodness. Well, eight forty nine technically, so yeah. Um Yeah. What's Black Lagoon on? Four hundred and six. That's impressive. Yeah. Who knew it was, it was like so popular? Oh my god. They used okay. to be neck and neck elite, right? But then that fucking piece of shit, Griffith, he he won a, he won everybody over. True, the author died and the video ascended. It became too popular. Hmm. I wish you would die, elite, right? then all your videos would be famous. Especially on Probably not. What about this? Why filler is a bad criticism? Ruby volume. Wait, let's watch a chainsaw man video. <laughs> Let's see. We'll filler? know if it's shit in like two minutes. Because we we love. I've filler. seen a million videos no, about. No, no. Filler. But it's about Ruby and filler. We love Ruby. That's a good show. Okay, right eyes and chainsaw man. This does sound interesting, but it could be terrible. Wait, chapter one thirty four. Which one is that? What happens in that chapter? Uh, Wikipedia, no, Wiki, Chainsaw Man one thirty four. I hate Chainsaw Man. Oh, it's like after the falling. No, what is this? After the Falling Devil, we see on the news broadcast. Mm. Crazy. Oh, when Asa becomes Chainsaw... No, when Haruka comes out as um, the fake the fake Chainsaw Man gets announced or whatever, right? I think. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hanging yeah. out all the time. All right. Oh my god, I remember when I watched two great videos on my most recent stream elite ring? Uh, yeah, cichlid video, and I don't remember what the other one was, but yeah, true. It wasn't a cichlid video, it was a video about cichlid. The other mm. one was about Attack on Titan Elite RE. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then you had an, an epiphany that Attack on Titan's bad because you didn't remember the details correctly. True. No, that's been a growing <laughs> epiphany over the last year. Okay? Yeah, isn't that a coincidence how the how your more the memory fades, you know, the worse the opinion becomes? That's just <laughs> crazy. Oh my god. All right. No, oh, I just think characters. everything recent is bad, all right? The beginning is the best. Mm -hmm. That's probably uh, not true, but okay. Chapter one thirty four. That's the that's the best chapter in Attack on Titan. In Chainsaw God. Man, there are several characters who have either missing, damaged, or otherwise unique. Right. All right. Who are they? We got a. Uh... It's gonna be shitty. No, it could be good. We got I... uh, what's her name? Who's I this character? I think I watched the first twenty seconds. There's like uh, then Aki and then Himino Wait, and Aki? then. What happened to his eye? Yeah, he loses an eye. I remember. No, I don't remember that. I I remember. He loses an arm. He's got bad show. Okay, well, that's gonna be so. interesting. Um... Somebody's got a fucking eye. Quan Chi doesn't have an eye, but that's like that's one of them. Uh, the one guy in Chainsaw Man Part Two, the the guy who is the president's like friend. <laughs> I don't know. I hate president. I feel like that's it. Kishiba has both eyes, right? I don't know. Oh, the Katana Man. No, he has two eyes, right? Denji at the beginning, I'm pretty sure sold True, that. yeah, that's no. true. How are you going to sell an eye? I think Denji's Wait, mom probably yeah. had one eye as well. Would no, maybe not, no. Denji's mom, we, no. Yeah, because she was an ugly bitch. Yeah, and she was coughing blood and stuff. Ugh, terrible. All right. Uh, Heath says, the future devil lives in his eye. Well, yeah, but he still has the eye, right? Doesn't he? Yeah, but he wears Am I, like, crazy? Eye, I why don't I remember this at all? That's, well, he's gonna show an image in about. Uh, no, I don't believe it. I think I think you're mistaking. It's another character, and you're gonna think it's Aki. Uh, Let's see. Denji so all right, Denji, I can believe it. Like to pay off his father's debts. Aki allowed the future devil to. This is your. Oh, he mentioned it. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I remember he showed Aki at the beginning. The <laughs> Jesus Christ. Himeno lost her right eye in battle, and later used what's left of it to feed the ghost devil. Am I listening to a video on one time speed right now? No, there's no way. No, it's one. Wait, fine. Patch over her right There's no fucking shot. <laughs> it is. It's like listening to Norm Finkelstein or whatever. Jesus. Okay, wait. All right, one, four, two times. Transformation trigger. And the Cosmo Fiend's right eye was pushed out of her socket. Oh, I, I guess. I guess I could. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. So. As a result of how big her brain is. So what is the significance of these right eyes? To figure oh, out the Yeah, literally. He's, he's, he's not especially talking about them being missing. It's just about right eyes in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. True. Yeah, but you did make the claim that Ark is missing his right eye, but yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going. ...religions and cultures to see if these stories have any parallels to what characters in Chainsaw Man experienced. <laughs> oh, it's one of these videos where we're about to talk about the, the third we'll give book it a of the little Bible bit more, and right? how the fucking prick has got well, a missing no, eye no, and this no. means he's evil, just it's, like no. Devil Man. It's all going to come together, I can tell. Right. Across it is, in some right? boring way. <laughs> Once there are connections between being blind in one eye and being a sinner. In some cases, really? the eye is the representation of your wickedness and deceitfulness. Why would others you are suggested to get rid of your eye to repent? What are you hiding sins? under there? True. In the That's Islamic the eschatology, idea. there is a figure called the Dajjal. The Dajjal is a false messiah similar to the Antichrist of Christianity. And he is described oh as God. a man who was blind. In is that why eye. Guts has With... one eye missing? Because he's like actually the real messiah, but he looks like he's not because he's all mm -hmm. black and stuff. But in the end, he actually is. And that's why his hair is going to go white. And he's going to get like a mechanical eye like Luke Skywalker got a mechanical arm. Because Kentari Mura is a fucking soy boy little bitch. Mm -hmm. Or was. And like <laughs> Star Wars. Do you think uh, Griffith's going to lose an eye? He's going to lose his fucking head, bro. No. With his army of devils, the Dajjal will perform miracles. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, Berserk's still going. Yeah, we're, not, we're not watching this. Uh... Wait, hold on. I'm into it. I didn't <laughs> know that was there's... an Islam oh, look, guy with no, one he eye. He goes back to Chainsaw Man. All right, let's we got, we got a little bit more. All right, all right, all right. He's a figure called the Dajjal. The Dajjal is a look, false messiah similar cool. to the Antichrist of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And he is described as... I think you mean evil, but... Yeah. He was blind in his right eye. With his army of devils, the Dajjal will perform miracles and recruit followers from across the earth before leading them to their destruction. Currently in the manga, Chainsaw Man is worshipped as a hero by the public. There is also an imminent apocalypse... Well, that not anymore. Right? Denji is said to be unable to stop. An apocalypse that will lead to the Age of Devils. Perhaps Denji is the false prophet that will inadvertently cause the incoming disaster. But there is another possibility. Because can you imagine if Fujimoto was actually referencing this like fake prophet from Islam? Would that be crazy? 
Well, he's probably referencing a thing that's about 10, 10 uh, things down on the referencing yeah. train from some weird little B horror movie scene. That's very true. Oh, I saw the other day that they're, they're the you know how when they first go into Hell Leary, there's like an arm and it's kind of like eating yep. a little bit and there's ants on it. That's it's from a like a horror movie. Oh, it's from some old, uh, yeah, in the bathtub too. It's all a reference to this old French horror movie. Have you ever seen Ooh. the footage where like the, the it's like the night, it's from 1920, Hell Leary. I remember no. dates and shit. And uh, shut up, you've seen this footage in video essays, you moron. That's what I'm getting to. Mm-hmm. And there's like a lady and there's like a razor and this dude's behind her and he's going to razor cut her eye. Maybe. I don't remember it. This is in a bunch of video essays. I don't know when mm-hmm. they're always like, well, film goes back to this. And this is when they started experimenting with separate convention. Mm-hmm. And there's this one French thingy that did it, this. It's from that one. And mm-hmm. yeah, she's in a tub and stuff. And then the arm is getting eaten by ants or something. It's, it's all, uh, but it's not that deep cut. Like every like film bro knows about this dumb French thing. So Fujimoto's lame and mm-hmm. uh, he fell off. All right. Someone is impersonating Benji. Cutting down it's not as cool as the Monsters, Inc. reference, like two pages later. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Starting yeah. a cult in God, that's a movie I need to rewatch. That had some cool stuff. True. It, but I don't remember enough of it. I think I only saw that like maybe twice when, I was, when it first came out. No, yeah, I've seen it like 50 times. Oh, yeah, are we going to do every Pixar movie? Remember when I said I was no. saving it for Girlfriend? <laughs> but no, I don't want to do that. So it's you. Let's do it. I'll rewatch all the good ones. But we can, <laughs> we can stop at like Incredible Sucks. You know, that's one I didn't see until I was like 12. That's so I don't real like that good. Yeah. So we that's can probably watch the best Toy one. It's Story. Not even Toy, Story Toy Story 2, mm-hmm. Finding Nemo, Monsters, Inc. And Toy Story 3. And that's all we got to watch. And cars. We have to watch all the Toy Story. We're not watching Cars, all right? I hate Cars, but um... I like Cars. And then I and then I remember seeing Cars two in theaters, like when I was like ten, and I thought it was the coolest movie ever. And then I go mm. on on the internet, and everybody hated Cars two, and I got very <laughs> sad. That's so but sad. I haven't watched it since. It was like a spy movie with Mato as the as the as the main character. Leary. It's gonna mm. be great. Yeah, but Cars. Are Let's boring. just watch Monsters like Inc. Cars. Why do we have to do? Why do we have to go through the whole list, Leary? Toy Story sucks. That's uh, true. The fish one. I agree. Cool. Finding Nemo. Let's just watch the fish one and uh, and Monsters Inc. Double feature coming to movie night. No, but The Incredibles is also. Wait, how old were you when you watched The Incredibles? I was in grade eight drama class. I feel like it takes a new meaning when you've got like the all the office stuff and the family like uh, infidelity stuff. Like I think that all that is makes it really appealing as like a second watch as an adult. Superheroes are fucking lame, leader. No, I think I I think you would actually really like The Incredibles. Um, You got little fishies, big monsters. And they got a little cute Kyle, little girl with them. The hero is working at an insurance company and he feels bad that all these old people are coming and he's like scamming them out of money. Kyle, can, how, how can you not like a movie like that? I it's didn't great. remember that, but that's, <laughs> that's just, that's just not cool, brother. Yep. True. And it, like the whole movie is about like him having a midlife crisis and him like his, he, his family thinks that he's cheating, but he, and he kind of is cheating because there's like a younger woman at work and oh, it's so good. I, I like watching it as an adult. Anyway, Chainsaw Man. All right. Alita is cheating cool. is super cool. So why isn't he watching Mad Men? Crazy. I will eventually. Holtz in honor of Chainsaw Man. One character that some fans think could be the Chainsaw Man imposter is missing his right eye, having lost it to the Justice Devil. So maybe. No this- way! I completely forgot about that. That's crazy. This individual right. and his See, now you're glad we didn't click <laughs> off this great video. <laughs> True. Learns to cause the end of the world. In the Christian Bible, there are two verses that I found that specifically talk about the right eye and none about the left. The first is Zechariah 11:17. Woe to my worthless shepherd who deserts oh, his flock. May the sword strike his arm and his right eye. And let his arm be wholly withered, his right eye utterly blinded. The worthless shepherd in this passage is referring to the Antichrist, condemning him to lose his right eye and his arm. This continues the association between missing your right eye and being a false messianic figure. A misguided cult, a false hero with a missing right eye and an impending apocalypse. The future of this nah, series may very well like be a story of stupid. The Antichrist. Yes. In the Abrahamic Apocalypse, the Day of Judgment, the Messiah will return to defeat the Antichrist and bring about the great judgment of humanity, rewarding those who were righteous and punishing those who have sinned. Currently, due to some unique circumstances, Denji is taking a hiatus from becoming Chainsaw Man. Will he return on the eve of the end of the world to confront his imposter? Is Denji actually Jesus? He does die and resurrect a lot. In Chapter 1, when Denji transformed into Chainsaw Man for the first time, the very first thing he did was to lunge at the floating head of the zombie devil and stab it in its right eye. Author Fujimoto has had it <gasps> nearing the... Jesus Christ. This is like your 139 number nine theory video. You kill yourself. Made. I was correct. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Finale of his stories to the beginnings. Like how this promo image for the first chapter ended up depicting... Nine people defeat. survived so the Battle of Shingon. That's crazy. Nine. Oh, 
Yep. Nine. Uh, other things 34 volumes. Nine. Crazy. Oh my god. There were nine branches <laughs> on the first silly tree in the in the that's yeah, that that moves that Elite are reanimated. Mm. There's nine little panels of wall that are shown in like in the page after that. And there's like There's know. nine letters in Aaron Yeager. Oh my god. Kill yourself. There's no way that's true. No, there's ten. Chance that in the very end of Chainsaw Man, Denji will once again cut into his enemy's eye, like he did in this panel here, repeating the imagery and ending the series the way it started. The second biblical verse is Matthew 5.29. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away, for it is better that you lose one of than that your whole body be thrown into hell. Several characters that we've mentioned earlier, Denji, Aki, and Quan Chi, were all literally thrown into hell by a giant hand. These characters not only did they not were the right eyes, they harbored mm -hmm. powers of devils within them. Interestingly, this verse is followed by, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. The characters that were sent to hell also have If the right hand off. offend thee, cut it off. Is that from Shakespeare? Because I, thought it was <laughs> I think it's Bible. from the Bible. The <laughs> it is from the Bible, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, because it's the one with Jesus or something, right? Where he's like, if he slaps me on the cheek, then I, I kill him or something. But Jesus is like, no, you slap him on the cheek, you turn the cheek and get slapped again or something. And if you're seven times seven times seven, blah, blah, blah. Right? You got it. Aki later reattaches yes. his right arm, which is the opposite of what the Bible tells you to do to avoid... Look at that, he has two eyes. That's crazy. Going to hell. This could be a symbolism for how Aki ultimately chooses the path that leads to the most suffering. The path that leads him back to hell. Oh. Power. Aki is not hell. The evil eye is a concept across a myriad of cultures that the True eye has the power is. to curse... Okay, Leo, I am bored. Yeah, this is... Uh... It's got 30,000 views, so well done, small channel. How many other videos do you have? Wait, what are the comments saying, Leader? Is it we'll get there, we'll get there, right? Okay. Ooh, I like the thumbnails. What is this? 99? Oh, it's just chapter numbers. You know what this reminds me of? Uh... I spelled that wrong. Oh Kinda my reminds god, me of this. Yeah, look at this. We got the... Actually, it looks very similar, <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, let's go very early. Wait, Mia just copied him. I know look at he that. Did. Look at that. It's more minimalistic, you know. We, Mia's put the details. Uh, uh, Shitego has, uh, you know, just got the numbers anyway. Did you see, uh, look at that popular Mia's video I see. 17,000 views of Vinland Saga. Impressive. It's a good video. Good thumbnail. I love this Not thumbnail. Not even a read. Uh, Not even a read. I read numbers. They're very true. Yeah. Oh my god, what is this? One Piece? Oh my god, adult parts of One Piece. That's weird. Oh, wait, wait, we're, done. we're done, we're done, we're done. Heath left Hancock. a message, Elidari, disputing all your points when he said, well, oh, he's Lydia? already referencing random stuff, like the Nostradamus prophecy, when you were like, Are you sh he's not going to reference this Muslim thing. <laughs> you got me there, Heath. Um, he was also referencing those, what, nine angels or something, when he, when Makima left the room and all the Angel. corpses were, like, bowing or something. Angel. Oh, my God. Crazy. Maybe yeah. he is referencing I remember this. that song? I don't know music, Kyle. I make my own music these days, all right? I that was a that. Dragon Ball Z song, Alita. Oh, uh, go ahead. Sing it again. Sing it again. Engine. Engine. Dragon Ball Z ED2. No, I don't. I don't know. it. You mean Dragon Ball? Bring it up, Alita. No, I mean Dragon Ball Z. Gohan, adult Gohan, has got a little feather falling over him. Oh, my God. Can you believe I brought up that Death Note whatever, something that one time, and he blocked the whole thing, and I had to clip it out, get rid of the Death Note section. Jeez. Oh, this is Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> oh, no, right? Who cares? Dragon Ball Z. What am I ED2. looking for? Oh, ED2. ED2. Yeah, 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 right. Oh, Japanese. There it is. There it is. Yes, Wait. that one. Oh, I don't know. Why would I know the Japanese ending, Kyle? Oh, my God. On the orange boxes. Oh, these are the Japanese stuff there? Oh, my God. All right. Well, it doesn't use the trap. Inches. Inches. All right. <laughs> It's enough of that. Oh, hold on. He's going to do the... <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, no. It's at the <laughs> end. It's like in five more seconds. Stop, all right, stop, all right, stop. all right. Play, play. You're doing pauses. That's good enough. And I'm speaking over it. He did it. Oh, it's still going? And the feathers. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, oh, I've never heard that in my life. What's the actual... Elite, are you watching Dragon English? Ball Z on... Sh oh, yeah. Popcorn Power, Elite. It's the best one. Absolutely. This is the best one. You going back to play that other one afterwards. Wait, why does it not have sound? Wait, is the opening? This is Rock the Dragon. <laughs> uh, we, are, we were So angels? when you were CBZ, you, you had... That's the one we were just listening to, idiot. Why is it English? It has English version. Oh, my God. 
I'll, I'll click on it. Yeah, this is the one it. I want. Dragon Ball Z Funimation Season 3 Outro. This is what I'm interested in, all right? Let's see. <laughs> this is what I heard when I finished. Oh, yeah, this is it. Absolutely. No. I've never heard this in my life. It's the best one. Oh, my God. Wait, keep oh. playing it. <laughs> He's definitely going to get a copyright thing, I think. Ah, oh, shut up, bitch. Oh, it's so good. This is a Super Saiyan 3 theme. I think. Maybe, because did you always get Rock the Dragon at the beginning? No, it changes to this, I think. Um, there's two opening, or like two songs in the opening, I think. I'm pretty sure as soon as the Super Saiyan 3 theme, this thing. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the same song, right? Wait, did you have the English background music too? Yeah, and that's the only way I would ever watch Dragon oh, Ball. Oh, I've never right? heard I've never heard the English background music for anything. That's I, I know the Vegeta one just because uh, John Zerke used to play it a lot. And when it's it was so in cool. that DBZA Jeez. episode, everybody was like, Oh my god, Soy, they finally used some English music. Mm. I love this song. Soy, Soy, Soy. I'm sure you know like the Cell theme, right? It's, it's like a famous one, I think. Wait, listen, you know this. You know this. Surely you know that. I, yeah, from other stuff, though. I feel like if mm. you had played that with to me without context, I would have been like, mm. oh, yeah, the GT song. Because it kind of sounds like the GT intro. <laughs> yeah, true, it does. Oh, my God. Anyway, Dragon Ball Z. I, I always talk about this. The Bruce Falcon What is the cell theme in song? Japanese, Lidari? I want to know. Japanese. Does he even have one? Um, Maybe this. Jesus. Oh, yeah, this one's sick. Oh yeah, I do. I recognize that. I don't know where yeah, I recognize it from. Oh, DBZA. Okay. Yeah, that's where it all. Wait, we didn't music. do popcorn shower or popcorn power or whatever it's called. Popcorn. The first Dragon Ball. Just right, put then. DBZ. Yeah, at the end. yeah. I just wanted to see if I could get it. All right. You're an embarrassment. Where to is it? Kind. Popcorn. Why? No. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there, right? Zenkai power. Is... There you go. Zenkai power. Yeah. Wow, popcorn. She says right? popcorn in it. It's in English a little bit. Dan, Dan. That's uh, see, I just did that. Wow. What is this? This plays until we beat Freezer, I think. It's so fucking sick, leader. It's the greatest song of all time. Oh, that's, that's all right. Hold on, this is a great part. Alien. All right, <laughs> Jesus. See, Wait, we you didn't had, even get to the popcorn part. Kai, we had completely different experiences in our like the vibe. Yeah, you don't know what DBZ off. is. <laughs> yeah, if, I think if of it more of like an action. Right like... now, he would love me. He would. He would oh, he would me. because he is. Because one like, time my on stream, he had a horror. He like freaked out because he thought I had only heard the English songs, and then I had to because I had no idea. So I started looking up songs and seeing mm -hmm. if I recognized them, and I recognized all the Japanese ones. So you know. Yeah. You know, I'm a little cool boy. Well, I have Blind Wave on my side. Eric and Shane, they would always go on about how much the Bruce... Yeah, the, a bunch Bruce of old Falcon fucking so yanks. Great. Exactly. Oh, but they knew, they knew what the real truth was. Where's the popcorn bit? Oh, it's fucking, oh, it's That's all I want to hear. Like a, the very, like a minute in. Oh, Wait, hold no. on a minute. No, we're not listening to a whole minute. It's one more second. All right, there oh, we go. Oh, that's fucking sick. <laughs> the lyrics are great. <clears throat> oh, they even have all the lyrics here. Oh, my God. Popcorn. It's not even in the lyrics. It might literally not. I think they do say Zenkai Power. <laughs> Why did but I always say thought popcorn? it was Popcorn Power. What? Because that's what I was singing when I was a little boy, Leary. It sounds like Popcorn. Wait. That doesn't sound like Zenkai Power. <laughs> it doesn't. It definitely sounds like Popcorn Power. Well, anyway, I guess uh, it's a mystery for the ages. Is this uh, Jinx I just from came Arcane? out of Leary. I wasn't on it. That's her, right? I think everyone's yeah, like I going crazy her. about her. I don't know. True Digest did come out. Oh, what was that YouTube thumbnail? The YouTube algorithm doesn't work the way you think it does. I think it probably does work. I want to learn. Oh, yeah, true. You see all these. First thing I do, I click here. I'm like, is Elidari on here? Oh my god, is it? No, it's not. Uh, is Cloud <laughs> Entertainment or Jockey Bacon or anyone else on here? No. Okay, then I just look at the comments. Then I go, I'll watch this later. Um, None of you piss ants will ever be on there. Just me. That's true. Well, until I watch. Uh, Magical Doremi, and then I put it and make a video about it. Maybe One a day. Madoka Magica video might get up there, Leary. Oh, Kyle, I would love to make a Madoka Rebellion video essay. That would be the highlight of my Defense life. I video. love it so much. I think that, you know what, watching these clips back of uh, Rebellion, I think it might be the best movie I've ever seen. I think I should just, I need to rewatch it just so I can have that, that take confidently. 
because it's so now heath you've seen every anime (laughs) this this movie sucks right that's what everybody says it's the it's so abstract it's it's completely abstract um oh i need to watch it again god the visuals are so good uh the the one scene is so good oh god anyway but the problem is my favorite movie has more than good ones wait what's your favorite movie I don't know. That was yeah, that's right. Yeah, take it ahead. Uh, okay, I was going to say, however, you can't use any Madoka Magica music in videos. I tried it one time for my every anime I've ever seen video, and I just it every song I tried was like blocked, 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 so I don't know. Apparently, you just can't use their music. All right. Heath. Yeah, I could get away with it. Says, well, he's already referenced... Oh, I read that already. Um, aren't they saying shower? Well, they're saying popcorn shower, right? I think. Yeah, like a shower of popcorn. Yeah. And also, Heath says, I haven't watched Madoka. Would you look at that? So Heath's going to watch it. He's going to watch Rebellion, the movie, the third movie, which is the only one that you have to watch. And he's going to be like, Arya, you're so right. It's the, it's the best movie I've ever seen in my life. Um, Are the first two just recap movies? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, we can look this up. Uh, Letterbox. Let's, uh, we don't even need to search for it, because we're going to go to my films that I've seen and sort by the highest rating. Um, <laughs> we're going to see it right here. Look at this. Rebellion. Um what do people give it? 4.2? That's pretty good for Letterbox, isn't it? Yeah, it's real good. All right, all right. We'll see. All right. It's a good movie. I love it. Mine's always boring, Alita. My top movies, it's just so boring. Just go and check it out right now. It's just so all right. boring. I think you're following me, right? Where's the... Can you even see the... Yeah, I, yeah I'm following you. Look at this. I have three followers. Isn't that crazy? Oh, my God. Uh, I have like 20 or something. <laughs> Let's see. Jesus. Oh, no. That's who you're following. Oh, I thought this was your... Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, so what? That's impressive. 19. <laughs> Do I know any of these people? Uh, CeeLo Pilled, right? Riker they're famous. Seven. You um, just skipped Riker 7, who was right above CeeLo Pilled. Oh, he doesn't have a thumbnail. You got a picture there, right? Um, how did I recognize CeeLo Pilled just from the picture? That's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Dan, that's probably Dan from the, uh, you know, Destiny's Dan. Uh, Elite Ari with no picture as well. I don't know well, who Dan so. is uh cross dwarf i've heard of that channel they stream they're like my competitor basically um and middle of the killer i, I think recognize he all these people. streaming <laughs> did he really that's funny i think yeah you only did a few of them no way actually i'm curious i am curious what happened with that um because i was actually interested because he is a videos and then he ran out of videos yeah he was a um, he is like similar to me in that he makes videos but obviously way more popular and then he transitioned to live streaming stuff um and i went to his um social blade and he was losing subs and i was like oh it's just like me oh my god yeah like he lost 100 and then 100 then 100 i was like oh my god that's crazy i guess that does happen when you do live streams um anyway also just uploaded a video recently that's crazy i did i saw it on your list that's true i katsu is love true isn't that like mean love or something i katsu i don't know something like that i don't know it's oh, look, it is streaming decently four days ago it's not bad Oh, uh, yeah, like gaming or something. Stuff. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, yeah I is. think those yeah. are all ones. Interesting. I'm a gamer. You're a gamer. We're all gamers. Anyway, yeah. uh, how do I get to the <laughs> favorite? You films? were on it, you idiot, and you just had to search by. Well, they're right here. Your four favorite films. Is this accurate? No, that's lame. That's not even good. Blonde, probably. Oh my god. Why are these posters like live action? It's kind of interesting. Right rebuild that's all in cgi does letterbox do the thing like netflix where it's like choosing a custom thumbnail for you any idea no i know you can change the images if you pay them that's funny you're supposed uh, to be sorting I know, by I know, I know, I know. well what should we sort by uh kyle entertainments or average rating or what do we want to do, you can do them all. what's the longest film you've seen Oh, the Irishman, of course. Oh, the Irishman. Win- <laughs> no, it's wrong. The Killers of the Flower Moon is way longer than the Irishman. Mm, I don't know about that. Killers of the Flower Moon. Right three and now. a half and three and 40. Uh, three hours and 26 no. minutes versus three hours and 29 minutes. So, What that. the fuck were all these idiots complaining about then? Mm-hmm. Irishman's oh, way better. Iowa? Oh, my God. Crazy. Is all it right. that really that long? Apparently... How long is the Godfather Part 3 leader? Just click on it and then click on details you moron. Do you not even know how to use fucking oh, I have no idea. I don't even know where it is. It's a part two, right? Third one. Oh, it's right there? Yeah. All right. Godfather no. Part 3 <laughs> runtime. Two hours and 42 minutes. part three, you idiot. Well, you part just said two. part three, right? Oh, all right, all right. No. Right. I said it was right there. 
All right, where is it? Where am I looking? Detail, Where's the detail? I didn't use oh, this no. website. Oh, no, right? it is just on the bottom. You don't have to go details. You just go down and it's right minutes? there. Yeah, it says See, minutes. it's not even in the proper conundrums. God. That's what we call metrics. Runtime. Oh, it's 3 hours and 22 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty long. Yeah, I watch long movies. Oh, wait, that is in the proper place. It's number three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. I thought you said it wasn't. Okay. You looked up number three, the movie number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Oppenheim is your most popular movie you've ever seen. That's pretty crazy. Um, You're supposed to go film rating popular, not just most ads. Who cares about this? Oh, yeah, at least. Know, a bunch of these. Uh, oh, useless... one of the little Pikachu movies. Uh, yeah. All right. The little polar bear was down there. That's a good movie. I remember that from when I was a wee little boy. Oh, <laughs> number one is the greatest Crucible. movie of all time. Jesus. Shut up, bitch. You gave it four and five. What are you yeah, fucking... Yeah, sure. What's Opera Doc? My favorite Bugs Bunny short. All right, Casablanca, obviously. We and the Harry one. Potters, that was all four the and a half for a long time. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty smart. Blonde, the contrary. Oh, we day. love Blonde. Greatest True. movie of all time. We got two Evangelions. Uh, the yeah, you see, it's number two and number four. Number three is only four and a half. You know. Oh wow, that's that's crazy. The first twenty minutes of number three are boring, and it's just fucking like three action scenes. You're like, this is soy. Five out of five. Is it the best one, or is four the best one? You never know now. Mm -hmm. True. Well, this one has like three bars next to it, so you were invested enough to write. That's because I reviewed. (laughs) I think that's because I was trying to do that, but then I gave up. I cannot actually. Oh no! Don't read this. Yeah, but. (laughs) Okay. Um, Godfather Part 1. Part 1? There's like a 3 there, isn't there? What is this? What? Oh, just lines. <laughs> okay. That's, that's the Godfather little logo, you stupid idiot. Right, right. Irishman. The Irishman, greatest movie of all made, time. Uh, Jack, shut up. You haven't watched The Irishman, you little so bitch. So long, I'd never watch it. Uh, Jackie, Jackie Brown. Brown is sick. Mm-hmm. I watched that on the plane coming back. Oh my for the god! First time for like the fifth time. Portrait of Lady on Fire, nice three out. Of oh five. my god, that's Larry's favorite movie. Mm-hmm. What else is uh something I've never heard you? Private talk society about? should have four, four. Polite society should have a uh, five five stars. I mean, it's almost there, right? What is this? It's one? so good, except oh, the first ten nights. minutes are kind of cringy. Thousand One Nights isn't that good. Bump it down. Apocalypse Now, Leader, you love that one. Wait, sympathy. Is this the old boy guy? Yes, he made three little vengeance movies. If the one you know, right next crazy. to the girl is the third one. I was watching, what? you know, Your Movie Sucks on a podcast today, and he said that the director of Old Boy or whatever is probably his favorite uh, Korean director, I think is what he said. So crazy. Yeah, well, I've seen like two Korean directors direct movies, and that those ones are better than Memories of Murder, which is down there in four stars. So that's a little embarrassing. Lady Vengeance is obviously the cooler one, Alita. You didn't even hover over it. Look at that super cool poster. It's just a lady in Joker makeup. Yeah, she's going to get revenge, Lidari. Cool. Okay. Oh, Hunger Games. Oh, boy, sucks. The worst of the three. That's true. It's also the most popular, so that's probably why it's bad, right? Yes. Casino Casino. Reservoir Dogs. It sounds terrible, but it was referenced in the Chainsaw Man opening, I think, so I guess I have to watch it eventually. Why does Reservoir Dogs sound terrible? Well, you've already seen no Quentin Tarantino. Look at it. There's like one, two, three, four, five men wearing suits. They're wearing glasses. It looks lame. I would never watch this. And I have seen a Quentin Tarantino. Didn't he do like the um, the Hollywood one or whatever? The Last Night in Hollywood? Or yeah, whatever Once it is? Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, that, one, great yeah. that was Probably terrible. I, I watched it like somewhere. half an hour until the dog came into it. And they're like praising the dog. And I'm like, oh, I hate dogs. Why is this movie praising dogs? And I stopped. It's terrible. Well, the climax is all about praising the dog. So, you know. Well, thank God I stopped then. You okay. Would... That. I hate dog propaganda Glorious like Bath that. is right next to it. The other mm. very good Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah. Bad title. Jackie Brown's but... obviously his best one. Yeah. Uh, good title. I mean, Pretty it cool. turns me off and I'm like, Ugh, it sounds like a it sounds like a comedy or something. I don't want to watch this. God. All of Quentin Tarantino movies are funny. Oh, no wonder. The I Hateful like Eight, that's the real second best Quentin Tarantino movie right there. Mm. That's crazy. All these things are just unappealing to me. And I didn't even know they were all made by him. That's crazy. The Hateful Eight. Your mother's unappealing to me, bitch. That's good to you hear. You skipped over Wolf of Wall Street. You've seen that one, right, Leary? No, but I need to. It has the, the guy no, in so it. Oh, so you want to watch this one? You know, this See, guy was almost Martin, uh, Anakin eight? Skywalker in Star Wars. Crazy. Leonardo DiCaprio. He was too mm. busy making Romeo and Juliet at the time. A much better movie. Was he? No, I, I think, think it's like I think he just made that up. I think it's 99 and 98. But that's something he was doing around then. Broadcast news. That movie's <laughs> sick, Alita. That's probably four and a half stars. What am I doing there? Spotlight's mm-hmm. pretty cool too. It's just a little soy, you know, it's like 
pedophiles bad and you're like i've seen this in every youtube video <laughs> i've ever seen in the last 10 years kill yourself was this sports movie glass onion wins? the better one yeah it's that's one i saw in a movie theater you're oh, gonna wow. make me cry later no oh. no no um what else is there oh i remember Past the battle royale the you made a video about that mr r's favorite movie if mm -hmm. i gotta watch oh this hiroshima mon amour that one was sick love story um no not really Okay, I guess I don't have to watch it. In the Mood for Love, also this not really a love watch. story. Japan's Longest Day. Japan's Longest Day. Fuck, That's on my list. Oh, we'll my God, the be the only two people in Australia to ever see that movie, <laughs> Maybe. unironically. How many reviews are there? Oh, Jesus. Not many. 700 and 147 likes. It was in a Steven video about Hideaki Anno, Elidori. How am I not going to watch it? True. It's about history, too. Another thing I like. Oh, my God, Roger talking? Rabbit. Oh, Gaslight Elite, are you like 1940s movies that are black and white, right? No, I don't like old movies. I'm just like Destiny. You're moving away from Gaslight. Django Unchained and not even a good Quentin Tarantino movie. I bet that's the one RE would like the most, too. I don't... Yeah, probably. This also is quite unappealing. I don't know. Reminds me of Django. What about Fett. the one next to it? Pokemon? I don't know. No, Pokemon's even less appealing. I would not want to watch it. Oh, Death Pokemon's Proof? sick. <laughs> that's another Quentin Tarantino one. That's his least popular one. People don't like that one. Mm-hmm. To the point where he kind of disowned it. Third Golden Age movie got a four. That's crazy. Okay. It should have got a four and a half, but I was oh, negative wow. on it the fourth time I watched him through. And on the third time, I was like, these are the best movies. Mm -hmm. God. I think it's the second time. I think I'm exaggerating just to seem cool. Like I watched him right. a bunch of times. But um, but then I was a little bit of a negative Nancy. Mm. Four and a half stars. All right. Barry Lyndon. That's, Barry that Lyndon. Comedy or something? No, it's not a comedy. Oh, we're getting to the bad the movies now. Three and a half stars. Barry, Barry London is by Stanley Kubrick, a leader. You ever heard of him? Mm, yeah, so he doesn't want a space odyssey. True. I know that guy. Oh, oh, yeah, that is him. I think that's him. Click on it. It's not the other one, right? It's not. Nah, the other one's too old. Stanley, yeah, Stanley Kubrick. Kubrick. You know the other one I'm talking about? The other old dude? Uh, Winston? No. That's the one, Alita. You're so mm -hmm. smart. Yep. I haven't seen any of those movies. Same. 2001's A Space Odyssey, Elyari. What is it? Four stars? You know, no well, who directed the game? David Fincher. Oh, I've seen something he did. I, did he do Spotlight, Elyari? Click on that one. Wait, is it on this list? Spotlight? True, it is. No, I don't think he did. Spotlight. Oh, Tom McCarthy, of course. No, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Elyari. I almost was like, oh my god, Elyari. Perfect you know, Blue. Perfect Blue shit movie. Yeah, this was really good. A Walk to Remember... New Year's Eve, this is the These most generic sounding movies. movie ever. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's just a copy of that movie up there that you ignored with four and a half stars called Love Actually, the best movie of all time, you know? Mm hmm Where it's about a million little different stories all in the city uh, where they've fallen in love on New Year's Eve or Christmas Day. We love mm -hmm. a berserk, you know? I wonder if... Did they all get directed by the same person? Kubuka. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The, um... Kubuka. How did he make the first one so bad, though? Like, what happened? Did he not have time for Wait, it, I guess, maybe? he did watch these stupid movies, huh? I remember yeah. I used to like the second one the best, so... Yeah, I, I do like the happened. second one the best, I think. Oh, Elite Army must have liked it, so I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Um, no, I reviewed these way before you watched them, idiot. That's true, Godfather yeah. Part 3 with three and a half stars there, you know? It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. What are the Goodfellas bad with three and a half stars. People really like that one. Leader oh my god, you didn't have many reviews. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. We're getting to the back end. Laps? Never even heard of it. That's just a short by the After Sun Girl. It's like seven minutes long. Are there any bad ones? They're all three or above? Oh no, you got a two. There's, the, a, what, there's, a, a, uh, there's a half star there, Leader. Oh yeah, I guess there is. You just yeah. gotta go two to the side. Wrestling. It's just a YouTube wrestling. Video now. Oh my god. It's literally a YouTube video. So this is the worst movie you've ever seen. Legend of the Guardians. No, it's the tied with of Chamber Duffel. of the Secrets, you know, just fucking oh, yeah, boring, true. taking forever goddamn movie. Spiders, and you're already ready to be over, but there's still an hour left. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Amen. I haven't watched this in a that long time. That hour one was... I feel like if I watched that hour one now, I'd probably give it like three and a half stars. Jesus. Just thinking, because I was the like, oh, there talk? are some visually cool. Yeah, it's oh, kind of no. cringy, though. It's a Zack Snyder movie. Like, you like him a little That's right? crazy. Yeah, he made... And uh, it's very Australian-coded. Because Zack Snyder is not Australian, but I thought he was, I think, because after I watched this movie. Way weirder and also more confusing than I was expecting. Where are the five stars? Forgotten that childhood memories on the plane. 
You're like War Ride right, Elite. I imagine if it was out. No, I hate War. Well, War is terrible. Oh my god! I gave that Pokemon movie three stars. You know, I hate that movie. It just yeah, betrays Mewtwo, everything. Right? This is Mewtwo, right? This is Mewtwo, and this is Mew. Yeah, Salido. And there's this Pikachu. Pikachu down. <laughs> we said this is Pokemon. Click on the poster. Blow it up, and you're gonna name the rest of them. Oh my god! Who's... I couldn't name. Oh my god! There is a oh no! Wait, this one. is Va Valpuron or something. Vaporeon, the Vaporeon? one that everyone wants to fuck. This Larry? is Eve. Yes. Eevee? Eve? No, Eevee. Eevee? You stupid bitch. This is Rat? Ratatouille? Rat no, it's, it's not Ratatouille. It's not even a rat. It's... There is a Ratata, but that's not Ratata? it. Ratata? That's uh... Nidoran. That's Nidoran female, uh, actually. This is Psychos? Psych, some, psych something? That's not Psyduck. That's Kadabra. No, that's not, not Kadabra either. It's yeah, Kadabra. Kuma. That's what I was thinking. That's not Kadabra. Though. I don't know what this thing is. I can't even see it. I that's Mew. Is this is Mew, right? Huh? Meowth. I know Meowth. He spoke. Yep. That was crazy. That's, that, that's Nidoran male above Meowth. Oh my god. Nope, no idea. Is this the, is this the Magnet guy? Onyx? Uh, no. no. I don't know. <laughs> There's a Magnemite and a Magneton and a Magnezone, and the, but that's a Voltorb. Oh. Oh, it's kind of that's maybe I know this one. Right next to it. I, I couldn't figure it out. For it's a fish. Minute, this is, I, I think I've caught this one in like Pokemon Go or something. I think. Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. No, nope, probably not. I don't. It's like some frog thing. Uh, some. I can't even see that. Cloud thing, a koala thing, an octopus. I, I I don't even know what this is. Tentacruel. Tentacruel. That was Bulbasaur, the frog thing you're talking about. Frog. Now, Lidari, what animal is that one you're hovering over just now? A bat. It's a monkey, you idiot. And oh, it's monkey. Named Manky. You could have got it, but you're a fucking moron. It looks like a. Well, a bat. that's embarrassing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hate Pokemon. Not a fan. Oh, a panda right there. For Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We hate Kung Fu Panda. That shit's lame. True. That's like a bacon movie. We don't like bacon movies. Okay. Bacon. That's it. We did it. End of the stream. Yeah, maybe. I gotta go to work tomorrow, Leary. Glad you liked the silly video. Late. It was definitely very self-indulgent. So hearing the people liked it, whether they'd seen Akatsu or not, is very nice. Perfect. Yeah, it was a, it was a little silly video. Well, hey, uh, lame. I was directed to you by Hayden. Who's Hayden? Who's this? I can't see it enough. Hayden. There's a Pokemon YouTuber called Hayden that I think is spelled like that. That would be crazy if true. Put it in the YouTube search bar, Lidari. What am I putting in? Hayden. It's That's not like going to that. come up with anything. Put anime. Pokemon after it. Oh, Jade and Animations. I know them. Oh, there's Hayden. Oh, this. It's not That's spelt it. that way, so it probably isn't him. These are the interesting thumbnails. They're all Pokemon. Can you name oh, them all? Oh, uh, Blossom. Cause... Blossom something. Oh, my God. He got one. You know the one the one next to Blossom? I know not this that one. Way, the other way. Hitmonlee. I probably couldn't name that one because it's a new one. I think it's Skullvolal. It's like Scoville, like you know how you measure chilies and stuff. Oh yeah, That's yeah, I word. do know that. I don't think take it's on that be word. Any other. Ditto. This is Ditto. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> That's, oh, Mark. That's it's a Lolan Mark. Mark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop know. cheating, Ali. Are you little bitch? Well, this one just had it in the title. Which uh, one's your favorite? Hey, is it the one we saw before? Them? Right. Uh, kind of. That's its evolved form, Electrode, but also right, new version. Right. Which one's your favorite, Leary? Out of what? Out of these? None of them. You I don't like choose any. out of all of them. Kill yourself, Leary. They're all great. Uh, but you got to choose one. Oh my you god, it's now. like Pikachu but with like little things on it. Exactly, <laughs> Leary. There's a Pikachu ripoff every new game, and that was one of the first ones. Plusle. There's also Minin. Oh, that's sick. It's, I assume it has minuses on its cheek. It's great. Yes, it does, and it's blue and so uh, red. Mudkip. No, it's Mudkip's no? final evolved form, Swamp It. You were very close, though. Mudkip turns uh, into that. Can you believe that? I know this one. Doesn't it turn, like, elect electric or something? No, no, no. It's okay. ground. Oh, Diglett, Diglett. I know Diglett. That's uh, Doug Trio, Diglett's uh. evolved form, but also a Lolan form. Mm. Zubat or something? Is that no, like, that's uh, something else? not Zubat at all. Okay. That's, uh, it's a bat, Lysor. right? Uh, yeah, but not a Zubat. Sometimes uh, there's multiple this is, of certain types. This is the one that... Uh, I don't know what it's called. but I know It is an old one that would be very famous. So. Yeah, I've seen it before. I think it's in that movie that you like. Or maybe not. Uh, yeah, it's in the second one. 
It's a lot. This is like a layer. mushroom. I, I've seen this one before. I've a seen this player. one. Oh, this one is like a Dodrio or something, right? Uh, almost. Do it's Dodrio. Dodrio? Yeah, I don't know how I knew that. It's Dodrio and Dugtrio. Dugtrio. Get it because it's trio because there's three heads on both of them. This one is also familiar. Septile. Septile's pretty nope, cool. Never heard of also it. not as old as all the other ones you've pointed to. I cool. I used to have this Pokemon on a keychain when I was in kindergarten. What is this? Please, what is this called? Electrovire. Electrovire. Cool. I'm assuming is this like a really old one? Buzz. Oh, Electrobuzz. That's uh, what it, it was. Oh my god, I had Electrobuzz had a, is a previous evolution yeah. leadery that is much older than Electrobuzz. Oh my god, I had a little chain when I was in kindergarten. You can on look my up bag. Electrobuzz leadery. How do I? You'll how do you be spell shocked that? by the similarity. Electabuzz. Electabuzz. Oh my god, it there is. he is. This is crazy, Kai. I can't believe this exists. I thought I had like a knockoff Electabuzz. Pokemon that, did, that wasn't like a real thing that looked like Pikachu slightly. Oh my god. I like Electabuzz. Oh. He's pretty cool. Keychain 2001. I don't think it's this. <laughs> oh, it could actually it could be. No, it had like it went through its head, I think, the chain. Unless this chain does go through its head. Oh my god, it was something like this. That's its previous evolution, Elekid. Oh yeah, wasn't this? I don't know then. Wait, where's the picture? Why, why oh, do they have weird like pictures? Like a toy liquid with all of their toys. That's crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, I think I think it was this. I think the thing went through the head thing there. God, that's crazy. I wonder if I still have it. Next stream, if I find it, I'll bring it out. All right. That's crazy. Literally. It had Maybe to be one of these. Some money <laughs> no, I think like the head broke off or something. I think. Crazy. Ah, you ruined it. Wait, there's a keychain one just right there before you clicked off. Oh my god. You can't reopen the tab because you're I in can. incognito mode. Easy. I'm not an incognito. Wait, how do you time. do that? <laughs> I'm just in a browser. I'm just oh. not signed in. Oh, this one right here. Wait, what it's am I in the at? middle at the this? top. It, a key. Oh, oh it could. No, it goes on the head. I don't know. It could be. I don't think we'll ever know for sure. It's just in my memory. Anyway, who knows? We'll have to invent like really good AI that can like read our brains and go back. Anyway, how many videos does this guy have? Jesus Christ. He was being a YouTuber for like 12 years, so it's probably a lot. All right, what's we'll the, the thumbnails popular. are probably going to start changing at some point. Oh, no. These are terrible. Top 10 thumbnails. never used Pokemon. Nine years ago. Uh, not Diglett. I don't know what this is. Onyx? Weedle? Weedle? Whatever. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Oh, not next. Oh, I know this one. The uh, Cobra? 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 Cobra no? backwards? How would how would you say Cobra backwards? I need to spell this. Arbok, name. obviously, you idiot. Arbok? That's its name. That's a terrible That's name. name. What, was it, what is it Great in Japanese? Great name. Stick Pokemon. Uh, I don't know. It might literally just be snake, like the English word in Japanese, because they do that for Pokemon sometimes, where they're just like, English names sound cool and funny, and <laughs> Japanese kids will not know the difference. So. True. But then it makes it a little uh, problematic when you got to translate them backwards. Uh, Heath says, Crafts Dwarf has a couple of podcasts as well. That's true. He I does have, the I Weeb Club. That. I did the my research. And the Nen you know? Show. Yep. Uh, Secret is here saying, Ayo, uh, guys... Slash, uh, no, r slash berserk real or Griffith fans. We got to investigate both and make a decision on the leader. In. No, I think Talk he's clean. saying that he's going to make a subreddit. I think. Oh. Berserk real. Nope, doesn't exist. Griffith. I think Griffith fans would probably be probably more, more attention grabbing. I don't know. I heart Griffith. You know, that might be a better one. Yeah. Probably Hayden the Historian. Ever heard of them, Kyle? Nope. Oh my god, they're like a... Oh no, they're a very small channel. Oh, they're smaller than me. Oh no, they're not. I only have two K subs. <laughs> they're smaller than Cichlid. All right, wait. Let's check. I've got like 10K subs. That's true. Oh my god, Cichlid's like booming. Almost 4K. Jesus. Cichlid, you didn't thank me for defending your honor on stream yet. It's like, it's a little overdue. I'm a, I'm gonna get mad at, little... at what? You know. Oh my god! Secret probably has I more know. views on his like five live streams here than all my live streams combined. <laughs> That's great. Good Worth job, Secret. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh! Three K subs you guys... from two videos with only eighty K views. That's crazy. Is it? Yeah, I got five hundred K views and I got two K subs. I think. 
Oh, that's because you got a bunch of dud videos in there with like 200 views. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I got 500k views here. 530k, all right? So where all my subs come from? These three videos. God, one day well, you'll be able to watch these, Kyle. There. You'd be like, oh, what's go what, what is he talking about? I, guess I already watched most one. of them. Yeah, one and day I you'll see the Norn one. It'll be great. Oh my gosh. My name is Norn Grey Rat. I'm a little nothing kid. Mm -hmm. And my sister is way cooler than me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lidori, isn't it going to be great when we have to spend 30 minutes at the beginning of the next Mushoku Tensei video yes. talking about spoilers? It's going to be annoying. Oh, I'm going to have to put a big timestamp. Oh, God. All right. Anyway. I can't wait. I've been uh, thinking about it so much, Lidori. <laughs> it's so great. We're not talking about it here, right? We're talking about it later. Okay. Oh. In like three days. Mm hmm. All right, I guess this is it. It's pretty late. Wait, his cichlid had other messages, you idiot. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. Don't worry, I would have read them, all right? You guys watch uh, Ordinary Things? Is that a... It sounds familiar. Is that like a Netflix show? Oh, it's a song by Ariana... Oh, no, it's a channel. Hello, friends. Nope, never... I don't think so. Never heard I of this guy? You're like a YouTube about. guy, right? I know everything about YouTube, except I only know the things you need to know. Oh my god, guys. Let me just say, Mr. Beast, uh, he put out a video, <laughs> Seven Days Stranded on an Island, which is a concept I think he's done like five times now in the past, like five years. I'm ashamed to admit this. I watched the first five minutes, and I was like, I can't watch this. This is I, I've seen this video so many times. He's made the same video so many times. He is like, I just... I, just this was the first like bad Mr. Beast video in a long time, I have to say. And then I was like, okay, really maybe people will like view it less. Twenty million subs. Nope, two hundred fifty million subs, one hundred twenty-two million views in two weeks. So people, he's gonna be rewarded for this. People like this video, and I didn't. So uh, anyway, I watched a clip about Mr. Beast because I, I sometimes I'm scrolling through a YouTube shorts lately, mm. and most of the time it's just random podcasts I don't know having funny little moments, which is yeah, not good. True. I don't need more podcasts to listen to. Mm. Um. And I, I came across a Mr. Beast clip, and it was Mr. Beast talking about meeting Kim Kardashian, and Kim Kardashian had seen some of his videos. And I was like, my goodness. He's that sounds really terrible. Famous. Yeah. But, uh, no, it was like her kids, Mr. right, or something? Beast, no, Mr. Beast was friends with Pete Davidson, right? And he was dating Kim Kardashian yeah. for a little while, so maybe that's, yeah, that's the that's worst the part. The said. It's, I skip this. In, in Mr. Beast videos, when a celebrity comes in and they like spend time with the celebrity, I skip it. I'm like, this is so cringe. I can't... I can't believe this. Like, the appeal of the video is meant to be, oh my god, there's a famous person in this video. Isn't that crazy? And then I skip it. I'm like, I hate you, Mr. Beast. Why are you doing this? Why are you selling out, all right? I don't like it. Um, anyway. Just my, my Mr. Beast Mr. Beast thoughts. Beast. Yeah, we hate him when he rings he on celebrities. YouTube. Like that one soccer guy or whatever. God, it was terrible. Um, all right. Cristiano Ronaldo? Maybe. I don't, I don't right remember. <laughs> I don't know. There's another dude called Messi, and his first name starts with L, Messi. but I can't say it very good. Leonardo Messi. Oh, you're saying Leonardo. It's a very common name, Go. No, that's not it. Lino uh, Messi. Why TF is sun and moon not in 3D? Says Cichlid. I think that's a question uh, for you, Why Kyle. the fuck is sun and moon not in 3D? Yep. I mean, they kind of are. Yeah, like if you use a telescope and point at the moon you'll actually see the pokemon character. sun and moon you idiot i know i was just making a mon mothma actor reference in that one interview where she referenced looking at the moon through a telescope and she was surprised that the moon was actually had a depth to it she was like oh my god my life has changed i am moon mother mon mothma and here i am observing that the moon actually has a third dimension that's what i was i was a subtle reference i'm sure no one would have got it but i thought i'd just point it i out. have no idea what elite are talking about mm. no he didn't it's the most obscure of obscure star wars references i would be shocked if anyone listening in the next five years oh i thought this is like a understand. youtuber <laughs> no this is like i was, was listening like, to an interview dumb. through a podcast like, from like 10 years ago who was i don't know why i remember this as well but anyway cold one that was lame it is lame. no cold you skipped the kyle one. <laughs> oh, i did yeah thanks kyle you really showed him that's okay cichlet uh, cold ones got fiver tats. I saw that I thumbnail. Cichlid. That's the no, interview. You don't. Yeah, it's the interview channel. Yeah. No, it's the Max Mofo and wait, what? You thing. What is the one I'm thinking of? Um, they do do interviews sometimes. No, the one well, with the, the 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 drink. Hot not, ones. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm an idiot. Yeah, hot Rocky ones. Moron. That's 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. I was about to talk about how these two have some crossover with Destiny, but, you know, we can just move on. No, they don't. I've never They're heard on some of them. the early scuffed podcasts with Destiny. Oh. Crazy. Well, actually, before it was the Scuff Cod podcast, anything for views, the dude with the beard used to run the Scuff podcast equivalent. They did like five episodes and they said, this fuck it, I'm sick of doing this train. You can take it if you want. And then he called it the Scuff podcast. Oh my God, it's Belle Delphine. Eric Crazy. History. I think they actually had Belle Delphine on the, via, no, no, yeah, they did that. via Skype. Oh, right. They it's did. All the they same. did. All the same. She was on the H3 podcast at some point, I think, right? She's not going to fly out to Australia early, are you? They're Australian. Oh, yes. oh they're Australian. Know. No, I didn't. Oh, no, what, she wasn't in person? No, she wasn't. Yeah, you're a little bitch. You don't know <laughs> nothing. They're just as cool as H3H3. In fact, they're much cooler, because I used to watch Max Mofo phone pranks when I was, like, 11, and I thought they were hilarious. What about Orange Pranks? pranks. Did you ever watch videos. that? No, I didn't watch any other prank videos. This prank this videos was... this lame. was un No, it's like a voice call, like, pranking thing. God, this was... Everyone watched this in high school. This is probably before your time, I guess. Everyone oh, would mock the... They would do the mock, like, Asian accent that this guy would do. Um, now that's some funny shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, everyone knew it. As soon as you said it, they'd be like, oh, it's like that Orange Pranks voice or whatever. Anyway. God, I need to leave. Whoa. Okay, wait. Uh, Cold One's got five uh, tats. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, yeah, you I'm... pay somebody on five or five dollars to give you a tattoo. Oh, later. it's not that different. Remember when, Pew remember when PewDiePie did that with the Death the Jews or whatever? That was crazy. Um, I'm really getting into Australians recently. <laughs> I didn't recently. used to get it. Oh, I get it. Now well, he gets it. Yeah, that's good to hear. There was a stabbing or something the other day, sick. Did you hear about that? It's crazy. Um, Kyle, let me know. <laughs> Uh, he thinks they're funny ones. There was two, O'Leary. Yeah, there was two. Sorry, yeah, I knew the first one, the second. You one, know, I mean. in Melbourne, they keep killing women, O'Leary. Unbelievable. First, it was the Asians in America when COVID happened or whatever. Now it's the women. Can you believe it? Why would they do that? All right, Jimmy. I don't know. I Jimmy is. Plan sounds like the best date. <laughs> True, that was the safest. There's never any like you know cyclones or anything like that. No floods. It's perfect up there. Jimmy is always amazing. Oh, Jimmy, by the way, is Mr. Beast. That's his like real name. Uh, Jimmy is always amazing everywhere except his own YouTube channel. That is not true. He makes the best YouTube videos. I love his channel, but I also love his podcast whenever he goes on them. Uh, he was on uh, Colin and Samir the other day, all right, I think. But it's funny if it was like six months ago, but I feel like it was the other day. I mean, I guess it's just like Alito re liking Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, it's the same thing. One it's month like ago. like shit, but he likes it because he's an idiot. Yeah, so um, yeah, I guess it is like the antithesis of Kyle Detainment. It's like the most popular, like mass appealing, really well made um high production youtube video and kyle doesn't like it substanceless trash yeah it's all about entertainment and kyle just wants themes and characters and all this and i am not about entertainment i'll tell you that much yeah he's kyle themes attainment or whatever all right anyway we'll come up with a better one we'll workshop it i'll be kyle ent soon don't worry and then uh, it'll it'll just continue to get removed one letter at a time Look at this, seven Kyle views. Bots, you know, greatest channel of all time. Actually, what are the... The views What's are doing pretty good, actually. 18. Uh, seven views. Oh, what the fuck? Who's watching this? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Reacting. Oh, I guess people love AOT. You know, you're famous for that. Oh, and Cichlet. Maybe the yeah. Cichlet name brought in some some clicks. You're my name. Like doesn't my attract as many. YouTube audience, my uh, entire YouTube audience doesn't know about Cichlet. Or, like, doesn't know that I've spoken to Cichlet before. <laughs> True. So that could be funny. That would break their hearts. Revealed. Oh my god. Yes, it would. It would be great. Any comments? I can't believe you hang out with this guy. True. No, I would have seen if there were comments. You got that one comment that one time, right? That's why Cichlet has to do the little interludes for one of my Berserk videos. Remember when I pitched that idea? It'll be mm, so great. And some people idea. will recognize him. Especially when the video is going to be about how good Berserk is and stuff. Do you make any uh, Berserk so references in the Devilman video? Or Griffith's references? Uh, there is Berserk references, I think, a few times. Well, you, no could, you could do something. You could incorporate him somehow. Uh, maybe. That one's a little late in development, you know? Mm, I understand. Okay. Uh, you guys ever have a GameCube? Absolutely not. I was an Xbox guy, and I was also late to the consoles. I was one of the latest friends to get one. I sadly did not have a GameCube, but I had a Wii, which could play all the GameCube games. So that's Jesus how I played Christ. all of my GameCube games. So like young. Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, Pokemon... I had a console from that generation, you idiot. I still got a PS1 in my room. You you don't know oh, shit. Wow, you're, 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 you're... Last Airbender game Wii. This is the game I had on the Wii. 
All Wii games were bad. That's why I play GameCube games on them. Jeez, this looks terrible. I thought this looked better in my memory. Wii games look absolutely dog shit, <laughs> Yeah. Like, they're all 480p, I think. Or maybe they're 720. And it looks shit on your TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was the game. Especially when you have to play it in native mode, so it's like like a tiny square in the middle of your PC, of your TV. Mm-hmm. No good. I'm going flat a leader. Okay, uh, Max, Max is so hot. Uh, then Max scuffed. Mofo, that scuffed question I had mark? a friend elite Areem, that used to copy all of Max Mofo's mannerisms and th- thought he was really funny like in the way that Destiny why they copied his mannerisms not not to be funny but just because he just adopted them I don't know who this is wait is the same is this the other channel it looks like on the thumbnails are just old YouTube thumbnails yeah oh, like how old is the is. most uh, most recent <laughs> video link. like seven years oh my god yeah he Crazy. hasn't uploaded this channel in a long time. He has a Pokemon channel that he uploads to all the time, gets a lot of views, and that cold one. Mm. Okay. Uh, did you see Hassan come to the cold one studio and hosted Chad on his own podcast? He did. As in Hassan's podcast. I think podcast. he did. That's crazy. <clears throat> he was in Australia recently, Ilyari. That's where all the drama came from. Oh, yeah. Hassan was in Australia. No, that yeah, was when the one the stream people. sniper came, <laughs> came in the street. That was so funny. Oh my god! I've still not seen that clip because oh, it's so funny. Put, like Tom tries to play it, I have to skip it because it'll be too cringe. I can't no, it's it. not cringe. I think I think it's I it think is it's cringe. Funny. No, because the, the actual girl exactly is crazy. um, it's it's not like a, it's hard to describe. It's she's not cringe. Like it's not like a, um, an earnest fan. It's it has like some level of irony to it. It's like yeah, I think there's more to it, Kyle. Give it a second chance. Go watch that clip. It's somewhat funny. Um, I won't give it a first chance. Uh, I don't know how YouTubers can associate with him. Well, I mean, his, <laughs> I guess maybe more so now. I don't know. Well, I mean, H3 stopped associating, right? Um, someone got stabbed in front of me in <laughs> Hanley. Jesus. Okay. But they were fine. That's crazy. I guess that's like... I've been this. stabbed like seven <laughs> times. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, did you know Kyle? Actually, I wouldn't even... Let's not dox Kyle here, right? Kyle is actually just me doing an Aussie accent. Wait, what, what was the leader are going to say? I know it's going to be about uh, what you did in New Zealand, your uh, profession or whatever. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, Kyle is not you doing a Australian accent because... We're the same person, Alita. Yeah, Kyle existed me. before you, sickly. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, people will think I'm you. That would be interesting. PS1 is a generation before GameCube, Kyle. I doubt that. That can't be true. It is. Is, so it old. is. I was just outranking Elite RE and his oldness. Obviously, the PS2 and the Game Boy. No, you idiot. The Xbox are all sixth generation consoles. It is sixth, right? I think so, yeah. This is the first anyway. game I ever played. Finding Nemo full game Xbox. I didn't have an Xbox. I had a PS2 because I was a full game. Look at this. I had a Finding Nemo game. On the um on the Game Boy Advance, however. Jesus Christ. Why are there so many puzzles? I don't remember a single puzzle in this game. This is more like it. Puzzles. This was intense. Like there was a timer at the top here, and you had to like swim through the rings <laughs> to get boosted in order to get there in time. Oh, this was this was stressful. You had to are bounce you off the jelly here? Oh, yeah, I think yeah, I think it is. Yeah, you got the two Dory in him. Is he gonna win? This is legitimately yeah, stressing me out. I don't want to watch this. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, uh, Ziklet's trying to say that if I put him in one of my videos, they'll just think it's my face reveal. That would be yeah. even funnier, so let's do it. <laughs> that would be very funny. Oh my god. What if I yeah. do a face reveal by doing the opposite thing in Ziklet videos? Oh my god, Ziklet, make a video, you little pussy bitch. God, wouldn't it be so funny if people just thought you were Ziklet? <laughs> the rest <laughs> of time? Oh my god, because that one time you revealed your face yeah, in a Ziklet? Yeah, <laughs> If people make like response videos shooting on my video and they take a screenshot and they think it's and they just take the cyclic image from the transitional yep. bit and they're like, this dude is oh a fucking God. loser. That would be so funny. Jesus. Okay. N64 era. I honestly agree. You shouldn't drink Coke if you have morals. True. We got to boycott them. Yeah. Um, no way. That was irony. Well, okay. Okay. It wasn't irony, but she wasn't. Um, she wasn't. I don't know. I can't even. I don't know how to she describe it. She wasn't genuine this. elite. Or no, what are you saying? yeah, like it wasn't like a, a fan comes screaming and they're unreasonable and blah 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 and they're just screaming at him. It's like they were trying to have a conversation, kind of, you know. Hassan, 
Go. She was just trying to help you. Yelling. Do not F kill yourself. <laughs> Don't. I'll take my headphone out, bitch. It's it's not that bad, guys. It's three minutes. We can't watch a three minute thing. What is this? Just just for the audience, Kyle. All right. Wait, why? Why is Aspen Gold reacting to it? Wait a minute. Where's she popping? Where's the? No, she goes I'm there. Ready. She, she comes back. It's not bad. It's fu it's kind of funny. Watch it on one times. All right. Okay. That'll like the way the fun. way this is portrayed is that it's like people in the, just the like when they title the video like a screaming fan comes up and yells at his son for blah blah blah. And I don't think it's anything like that. All right. Um, it kind of is, but you'll you'll see her. <laughs> I can't hear you, Alita. I see a little fucking bitch face, a little thingy with highlight and green, but the headphones all the way near the mic. You can't hear it. See, she's like, she's like laughing, and um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's, all... it's it's not like she's she's kind of she understands kind of what's going on here. She's not like a completely out of the situation. She's like making conversation a little bit. She's she like sounds reasonable, but not really. You know, she's kind of insane at the same time. Like it all comes together to make like a like a crazy kind of clip. You know, a very funny clip. Anyway, okay, are you back, Kyle? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Oh my god, there's so many chats. Okay, wait. okay. Uh... My first game was Shrek for PC. I played Shrek Two for PC. I played the PS2 mm -hmm. version of that. At the end, it changes them to my voice. Oh yeah, as we just fade out at the end, mm -hmm. and it's Cichlet doing the narration. Mm -hmm. That could be cool. Fucking hate that his son has a house. Big oh, house. Oh Hilarious. God. Can you believe he's a socialist and he has money? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Socialist means poor, Alita. True. Socialist when no house, as he says. All right. We did it. We're at the end. Uh, it's very late. Believe it or not, the other day I was awake at 7 a.m. I woke up so early. I had a doctor's appointment. Ugh. Oh my god. Never again. I anyway. hate the doctor. Uh, with that, uh, I I press the stop streaming button. I look at the camera and I say. Uh, see True you though, later. he is a hypocrite. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we don't know if Hassan's a hypocrite. We just we just know he's evil, all right? We don't know if he's a hypocrite. And with that, uh, goodbye. <laughs>